Washing machines live longer with Calgon. Well, I've only got a little drip left of Calgon. That's all I have for left. I think I'll have to contact well, uh, Calgon and say to them, please let me uh, send me a few bottles so I can sponsor them. Hello there, washing boy. How are you? So, as you can see, this is going to be the first live stream using the new iPhone ten. S Max or X, X Max or whatever it's called anyway. As you can see, there is a lot of screen with this now. It is a bigger angle, so you get more wash for your bang. So washing machines live longer with Calgon. So we've got five viewers. Okay, I'm gonna start. Today's laundry detergent of choice is going to be Presto. And now unfortunately I can't read your comments at the moment because I'm on my own today. I don't have um, Reese with me or Jordan. It's just little old me, myself and I. So I hope you will stay tuned. So, the load that we got today, Dave, <laughs> is going to be white. And I have some white cloths that I'm going to chuck in. And some towels. And some shorts and another towel. And we've got a white shirt. So it's a mix today of white, white pants, white socks, white flannels. A couple of socks with a little bit of color, but they're predominantly white, so I like to put them on a 60 degree wash. Let's load her up. There she is. Get rid of the basket. Uh, let's have a look, hang on a sec. Okay, so I can see your comments now on the iPad. Okay, so we are, let me turn the volume down. There we go, that's better, I don't wanna hear myself. So let's get to the top of the machine and pop in the detergent. Bear with me while I turn you around. Hiya. Hello. I've got my Lego t-shirt on today, classic space. Let's go down. Can you see? There we go. Haha, -ha, now you can see the draw. So like I said, we're gonna be using Presto. So let me get the scoop. Put in some Presto detergent. And I'm also going to put in some of this Sard Wonder that I got from Australia. I still have plenty of this left. And I really like it. So that's going in. I'm going to put a little bit of fabric softener in. So I'm using Lenore Parfum de Secret. Dazzle, for the stupid name. And that's it, that is all I'm gonna be using in the drawer. Oh, hang on, one more thing, where is it? I have to use my tiny little bit of Calgon. There we go, that's all that's left. Put that in the recycling. Let's close it up, right, let's turn you back around. And let's switch on the beast. Let's do a white load, said Dave. Uh, I'm going to use Hygiene, which is 60, four inch, 1400. And we're gonna put it on an intensive, or oh, should I put on a normal wash? Uh, what do you reckon, guys? What type of wash should I put this on? Now, Washing Boy says Cotton 60, UK Skin. Hey, Darian, wasn't Presto some dodgy UK supermarket chain? No, it was, um, it's Amazon. It's Amazon's own. It's really, really good stuff. Dave Jones. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take it off Crease Care because we don't want it on Crease Care. Um, uh, 
Rahimi, Rahimi Grant, Rahim Grant, 60. Uh, I'm doing 60, but I'm going to do the hygiene, but I need to know what wash would you like it on? Normal, intensive or turbo? So what would you like? Intensive, says Toji. Why not? So there we go. So let's put it on intensive. So we've got 60, four rinses, 1400 spin, adds more time, and let's put it on play. Dave Jones, I'm still loving my fairy. I haven't been up there yet. Uh, let's just do a little bit of detecting. Intensive is good. Mark Fontaine, hey, hi, was my birthday last Sunday. Happy birthday for you last week, Mark. I hope you had a fantastic birthday. Let's have a look and see how long this is going to take. I reckon one hour, 45 minutes. One hour, 45 minutes, maybe. What cycle is this? Uh, we are doing a hygiene on intensive 60, 40, four rinses, small load. I don't know why it's on a small load. I guess it's detected by weight, Toji, I guess. You've mentioned that in the past. Uh, oh, what? Three hours and one minute. Girl, this is going to be a long, long, long wash. Stop the LG. Shall I put it on pause and put it on a... That's fine, Dorian, for hygiene. Yeah, but there's a, then the, you, you guys have got a three-hour vlog. Could you possibly bear with a three-hour vlog? I tell you, could you? Henry Cordless is back. He is back. The story of how he is coming back will be put up next week on a video. Toji's cool with a three-hour vlog. Well, you better not bugger off this time. Uh, no, I, I forgive you. So we are using my new iPhone. This is the first live vlog with my new iPhone. So let me get myself set up because I have something that I can do. So there we go, you can see my face and the washing machine at the same time. Actually, let's get a bit more face, shall we? Connor Hallwood, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Um, just need a tea. Hubby! Raheem, maybe we should change it, possibly. Max, yes, we can bear, I mean bear three hours. Oh, you little minx. So we are now at the moment, the detergent's going in the machine. because that's the way I like it. Uh, have you got any other washing machine? Uh, this is uh, Rahim. I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, yes, I do. I have a Hot Point Supermatic Deluxe Twin Tub, a little mini plastic Costway Twin Tub, and a Rolls Twin Tub as well from the early 60s. Um, but the twin tub, the rolls, if you check back on my playlist, is not quite working yet. I like the way that is stepping, me too. I do like that stepping motion. Gamer6472, hey guys, how do y'all? 
twin tubs are shite. Aw, oh, they're not that bad. The washes are a little bit short on them, which is why I always put them on twice. So is everybody enjoying the wide angle of the new iPhone? Does that detergent leave a nice smell? Yes, it does. It doesn't linger as long as the Daz does, unfortunately. The Daz definitely has a smell that lingers longer. Like a good man. Oh, here we go. Nah, we're not going to get a suds lock on this today. So how has everybody been? How has everyone's week been? This has been a long weekend. So I thought, I know, for all of you guys, my little Hoover Luxes, who aren't doing anything, they're just sitting there on a Monday afternoon, bored to death with nothing on TV, I thought, I know, I'll do a wash and vlog for you for my little Hoover Luxes. Mark Leslie, I'm late to the party. What cycle are we on today? Mark, we are doing a Hygiene 60, four rinses intensive, two hours and 59 minutes. Jesus, take the wheel. Always look to your light. Ah, oh, thank you, Mark. Toji, I am in Kent at the moment. Ooh. I used to go on holiday to Kent, down to, um... oh God. I can't remember the name of the place now. We used to stay at the Hotel Burstein. UK Skin, I'm doing the laundry I should have done at the weekend. Well, there we go, because now you can have your laundry on at the same time and watch me. Uh, Connor, I like that washing machine. It's very intelligent, I think. Uh, it is intelligent, a little bit too intelligent, as Toji will tell you, that the... Um, the balancing can be a little bit um, chintzy on times, which is why I might have to bug it off in a few minutes. Oh, ha ha. Oh, yeah. Toji goes three hours. I'll be there every second. Then he buggers off. I'll tell Scott. I'll tell Hubby Luxor about you. Uh... Oh, yeah. We're doing White Lords and we're using Presto, Mark, with Calgon and a little bit of Softener. Max, uh, Windows 10 just shat itself. I'm going to be fixing it so it won't be talking in chat. Yay, I'm not. Well, you can always fix it and watch on your phone. So you can put your ear pods in and you can listen to me gabbing, Mr. Max. <laughs> <clears throat> so it's doing another bit of its thing at the moment. Mixing it up. Graham Clifford, hi Hoverluck, sorry I, sorry I start your live IMN Edinburgh, Waverley. Hello Graham, my little handsome man, how are you? Uh, Dave, what do you think of Bosch? I do's. Um, I... I don't know, I quite like the Bosch machines, but they just seem a bit boring to me. As in the... You won't see it yet. Uh, could you do a drive and vlog soon, please? Or, or dry and vlog. Oh yes, I must do a dry and vlog. Hi Dorian, sorry I'm late. What cycle are we doing and how long has it left? Honestly, Thomas, Mr. Webster, you have got two hours and 56 minutes left on this. We've already been going for five minutes. So this is a long haul, girl. Get yourself a sandwich, get yourself a cup of tea, get yourself a cushion and a blankie because we're in for a long haul. Uh, Mark is now using aerial pods. I'm loving them. Good cleaning action. Aerial, I do like. Aerial is still my favourite... Um, washing detergent uh dave no self-dosing bosch no i don't like the self-dosing bosch and i'll tell you for the reason why you can only dose it with liquid and as everybody knows purely using liquids for your washing machine is not a good thing you should every now and then use a little bit of powder especially for the hot washes 
Um, and that is because I have been told that from the horse's mouth, from Chris from the laundry centre, and he is a washing machine engineer, and also Phil as well. And somebody else as well, Do Ron, on Instagram, Do Ron Ron. Uh, are you going to do a twin tub vlog? Um, yeah, I will actually. I'll do a twin tub vlog. Um, I need to dig out, well, you know, not dig out, but pull out the um, Hot Point Supermatic Deluxe. UK skin, I'm using Sainsbury's Big Box Non Bio. Oh, you've got delicate skin. Do you want me to wub you down with some baby lotion? Mark Fontaine, have you seen the app where you get paid for doing other people's washing? Oh no, definitely don't want other people's pants in my machine. Uh, Dorian, can you read my last comment? Sorry, told you. Uh, I'm at a friend's house, so I might have to bugger off soon. Oh, well, you better get your bloody mobile out then and your earpods on, <laughs> Mr. Toji. Connor Holwood, can you show us the tumble dryer, please, because I like it as well as the LG. Um, I will do the video going up to loading it because this vlog is possibly going to last for three hours. So we've got four people watching now. If we dip down to zero, I'll be ending it. Uh, UK skin, I've got delicate skin and baby lotion would make my skin my full fall off in chunks. Oh! Uh, we'll rub some pseudo cream on you then. Thomas Webster, I am going camping on Wednesday till Saturday. I might not be here for next week's live stream. I, I don't know, I might do the live stream on Sunday. I think we're going out on Saturday. Connor Howard, just quickly. Yeah, I will, don't worry. I will do just a quick load up and I'll say my goodbyes like I normally do with the tumble dryer running for you. Do Ron Ron on Instagram is a YouTuber. Oh yeah, that's it. A-I-T-C-H-O-86. Uh, yes, he lives nearish to me, actually. I haven't met him yet. Uh, the 12 viewers, according to my phone. Oh, that may be because this hasn't updated. Okay. Hmm. Let me go off and come back on. Hang on a sec. Some machines live longer with Calgon. Let me refresh my page. Yeah, there are actually 13 washing, watching. You are correct. Why mine doesn't update, I do not know. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm allergic to lanolin, so keep to olive oil. Mm -hmm. I'll rub it down with some olive oil and then a hot pasty. Uh, Toji, just be glad I've managed to come on, Dorian. Ah, uh, I'm always glad you just come on to the live streams, my friend. Uh, Mark Fontaine, do you remember whisk detergent you could get in the UK? Um, I personally don't uh, remember whisk, but I do remember seeing the packaging when I was at my friends at Easter for that washing machine meet. Um, and I'm, I think I've got some pictures of it. Uh, Rowan Wells, hello Rowan. What are you washing and what cycle are you using? Well, Rowan, I am doing a mixed white load and I've got it on a hygiene uh, wash of 60 degrees on intensive with four spins and a 1400, sorry, four rinses, 1400 spin. And we've got two hours and 51 minutes left on the vlog, so get comfy. Uh, Thomas Webster, my dad is cooking cakes. One son, oh yeah, what is he cooking? And what does your dad look like? <laughs> Uh, Trains of Max, have you decided, she, you're going to Southampton yet? Oh, yes, I am going to Southampton. Uh, we haven't set a date yet. Chris is going to let me know tonight. And then I'll let you know, and we're going to do a swing by Max's house. When, not she. I hate my phone. Mm -hmm. uh, Rowan Wells, I've got all white bedding in now. Ooh. Oh, I remember the days when I used to have white bedding before we had dogs. Dave, mm, olive oil. I had some, <laughs> had some smash fries done in olive oil and rosemary. Ah. Beck or Mad, hey, hey, Beck or Mad. Welcome to the first live vlog and wash using the new iPhone X Max S10, whatever. Big ass new phone. Wide enough so that I can wash and vlog my face in the same picture.
So yes, I'm here on my own. I don't have bland pants with me today, unfortunately. Uh, he's tired. He sh I hope he's watching. And um, Jordan's gone back to back home. So it's just me and myself and I. Not even Dexter's here. Dexter's up on the bed asleep. What detergent are you using? Rowan, I am using um, Presto. What washing machine do you have? Uh, this is the LG. Let's see if you can see. This is the 12 kilogram Centrum Direct Drive. You know me, I like a big load. <clears throat> um, Max, you won't need a wide lens after your weight loss. You'll be able to squeeze next to the washer. I'll be able to squeeze in this little gap. Beck or Mad, could you do a review of your mum's washing machine? Um, I would, yeah, but she lives like hours away. They live in South Wales, and I'm up in um, I'm up in Lincolnshire. But I I've done one on my sister's washing machine. It's on my Instagram, I think. Or did I do? No, I did do a I did do a video. If you check through my washing machines playlist, there's definitely a video of my sister's um, hot point on there. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Washing boy, are you like Samsung big? Oh my god, yes, I would love one of those. Like, is it like 22 kilogram Samsung front loading washing machines that I saw in America? Oh my god, I'd love one of them. They're huge. Um, have you tried that dead old stuff you put in the fabric compartment? Uh, no, what is that? Becco says hello to Mark, Chrissy, hello, hi Dorian, hello there, Chris. Great big hugs across the pond and over to Canada. Beck was asking, Mark Fontaine, what washing machine do you have? Ah, oh, thank you, Chris. So Jordan went home, went back home on Thursday, so we made loads of videos. We've got loads of videos coming up. Uh, Chris just started his new job. Okay, what did, um, what's your new job, Chris? Becco Matt, big hugs. If they to me, ah, big hugs back to you as well. Mark Leslie, the hot point vids are on Instagram, but not on YouTube. The Dettol stuff is laundry cleanser that is supposed to kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria. All right, okay. Mark, uh, I've got the AEG 9000 series, uses salt to soften the water. Yeah, I've, I've, um, I've heard about that. Becco Mad, could you? Could I what? Jordan, there he is. Hello, Jordan, my little cheeky chabby. How are you today, handsome? Oh, it's not the same. You should be here with me. There's, there should be a little. There's a little space here for a little chihuahua to sit. And well, it's really funny because every night Scott and I have both been saying we really miss Elizabeth. Uh, he works so okay. So Chris, uh, Connor, uh, I enjoy seeing your vlogs. You do. Uh, oh, thank you, Connor. <laughs> That's really sweet. Thank you. Uh, Chris works for Aeris Electrolux. Ooh, special discounts there. Uh, Beckham, I do a review of your AEG nine thousand on your channel. Oh yeah, that's that's to um, that's for somebody else. Have you heard of them? Um, Aeris Electrolux. Yeah, isn't that um, Electrolux? Think of the uh, the product company. <gasps> Guess who has just come into the vlog? It's Bland Pants. Hello, Reese. How are you, my friend? Poor Reese is all tired after his escapades yesterday. So he's just there vegetating. 
washing boy. Are you like LG Spin Wash? Um, I do. I have once or twice used the spin cycle on its own. I'm. I do like the spin cycle, but it can be a little bit um, delicate, shall we say? Jordan, I'll post you to you. I have booking until the twenty third. Ah, uh, yes, he's looking after doggies. Hi, doing well, thanks. Having a lazy day. Reese, are you wait? Are you in your bland pants? I know that lots of people will be asking me. Actually, let me get the thermometer. Hang on. Because I'm close enough now. <laughs> oh, it's all falling down. No vegging in pajamas today, so no pants being worn. <gasps> uh, Vlasak Vidya, hi everyone. I did a test with an extreme thirsty load of towels in my school's Beko yesterday. Look at my channel. Okay, I will check that out. Let's have a look. Let's go to his channel. Videos. The Orange Beko, Cotton Standard. No, that's a one hour ago. Uh, that's the only one I can see with washing machines. I'm just having a quick look at the Beko. Oh, there you are, loading it up. Why is it called the Orange Beko? They do look like thirsty towels. I've just subscribed to your channel there. I didn't, um, I missed that one. Okay, I will check that out. That will now be in my history. So, I will check. Let's go back to here. Uh, scandalous, I know. He's free balling, free balling, just to having the day of free balling. Edward Byrne, yo, yo, yo. Beck or mad? I'm bored. I know these vlogs do go on. Let's check the temperature. Uh, 27.2 degrees Celsius, 81.3 Fahrenheit. Beck or mad, I might be getting a top loader. Are oh, you lucky duck, I would really like to have a top loader. Does everybody like my pug? Reese, I've been quite productive today, though. Been doing, I've uh, been doing a fair few hours writing. Oh, is it your memoirs? Uh, you washing, painting rags? Um, no, not today. Just my laundry. These are towels and socks and pants. Washing boy. Next time, LG cycle. I'm choose. Okay, okay. Washing boy. That I promise. Next week next Saturday or Sunday you will get to check you will get to pick the cycle and I'm going to screenshot the page it's a bit slow on this and I'm going to save that done save to photos we have evidence now 
Haha, <laughs> <laughs> ha, my life is not that exciting. No, my sci-fi fantasy novel. <gasps> I didn't know that you were writing a sci-fi fantasy novel. Oh, can I be in it? Can I be a character? Uh, Mark, try to aim the thermometer as close to the bottom of the door as possible. Twenty nine point five, eighty five point four Fahrenheit. I'm sure I've mentioned it to you too. No, you haven't. I'm um, Edward. <laughs> you can write your memoirs on your bland boxes. Reese, does the um, quality of the of the live stream uh, seem very well on my brand new iPhone. <laughs> um, it's on Amazon for 179. Have a look. Oh, that's your um, top loader. You have to send me the link. Chris Dorian just sent you an email uh, with our company's website. Oh, excellent. Thank you, Chris. I will check that out. Uh, two hours and 38 minutes left on the cycle. Wow, rub it in, why don't you? No, it's limited by YouTube's compression. <laughs> Uh, Chris, what's new? My my iPhone, my um, mobile phone that I use for the channel for all the filming and everything. Um, I had an email last week. I think it was on Monday. Was it right, Jordan? Was it Monday? And uh, said that you do for an upgrade. So I gave them a call and I got the um, iPhone 10 X X XS Max. Uh, but sound is very good using your mic. No, 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 I'm just using the phone. See, the, the, the microphone on it is improved as well, Reese. <laughs> uh, can you turn the beep off on the thermometer? It's still freaking my poor dog out. Can you do that? can't turn the beep off. There's no beep turn off, unfortunately. Sorry. That's deaf, Dad, is why you can't turn the beep off. No, there's definitely no beep turn off on this. If anyone knows any different, please tell me. for the light. I don't know what that button's for. And then that's for centigrade and Fahrenheit. Uh, so, yeah, unfortunately, UK skin, I can't turn the beep off. If anybody does know how to turn the beep off on that, please let me know. Edward, so why, why so long? Barely anything in the washing machine. I know, tell me about it. It only, only came up as um, a small load as well. Uh, Jordan Monday XS Max that's it uh, Chris can I post a link in the chat to our company's website would that be okay yeah that's fine we'll fire away washing boy uh, do you remember live stream of LG oh yeah five hours five hours and 20 minutes I think that was the day when Toji wasn't washing and we went completely rogue So there we go, that is the link to Chris's uh, company that he works for. Um, Dave Jones, XS Plus is massive. UK Skin, thanks for trying. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so we've got Chris's. Da -da 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 -da. I don't like being able to see that tag, that's annoying. Let me turn it around.
It X is pronounced ten. Okay, so it's the um, ten. Ten S Max. It's the ten S Max. That's it. Uh, Edward, we blame Reese for that happening. <laughs> Did you get my link for washing machine? Uh, I I have probably, but I haven't looked on the. Um, I haven't come off. I haven't come off this. Um, Mark Leslie, it's a hygiene cycle. It should hold the temperature for a while to allow the enzymes to work and to kill bacteria. That's why it's so long. But to be honest, it's not using. It's using a lot less power than most washing machines would anyway. So I'm not that worried. As long as it does its job. It's just so quiet. I love it. Nice dog pillow. Oh, oh thank you. That's my little puggy. If I, if, if I ever have a pug, I'm going to call it Oswald. The low energy usage is another reason, plus it's cold fill only. To be honest, most uh, washing machines, um, new ones, are only cold fill, aren't they? Are, are there any new machines out there which are hot and cold fill? Rainbow is coming out with a new machine. Oh, that'll be interesting to see. Aren't all washers cold fill? They didn't used to be. Um, I'm sure there are some new ones which are hot and cold fill. I'm sure there are. Somebody must be able to tell me. Uh, Mark, the vast majority are cold fill, yes. Toji, you're back. I've got a question for you, my friend. Um, the, we know that the majority of washing machines are cold fill, but which washing machines of today that you can go and buy still have hot and cold fill? Uh, UK game. Now we're all we're all going eco. It'd be nice to get a hot fill option back. I quite agree with you there, to be honest. Do you know what, UK Skin? I actually really do agree with you because it would eliminate the use of the heater in the washing machine, which would probably take far more energy to heat up the water than it would if it was just a, an ordinary cold fill. Plus, it would be a lot quicker as well. Um, Toji, I don't think there are any hot and cold fill machines anymore in this day and age. It's a little willy. Oh, do you mean on this? Or do you mean you? Because that's not true. Don't put yourself down, Dave. It's like a bratwurst. Um, oh, the dog. Sorry, yeah. From EastEnders, I know what you mean now. Um, Edward Byrne, the 9530 hot point was hot and cold fill. I know that from Brandon's channel. He primes the hot water, if I remember. UK Skin, if you've got solar, you've potentially got free hot water. Exactly. Tommy Hanlon, ah, Mr. Lux, we finally missed Mr. Bond. Mmm, you are welcome to my house, little boy. Little man. <laughs> Uh, what time is it over there? Corner, hot corner. It is quarter to five in the afternoon. What temperature are we at, Dorian? Right, UK skin, cover your dog's ears. This is the warning to cover your dog's ears. We are at 37.4. Oops, 37.4. Mark Leslie, if it took in hot water, the heater would only be needed to make sure the temperature was maintained. The 9530 that Edward is talking about is 33 years old. <laughs> uh, 
Toji, I hope it reaches temperature this time. To be honest, I think it will. I think I was misusing the um, thermometer. Toji, uh, okay, Dave, your pillow. Yeah, I know that now. My little Willie. If anybody's watched Old EastEnders, there was a character on there by the name of Ethel, and she always had a pug. And it was called William. Willie. But she used to call it Little Willie. You are the best friend. Ah, oh, thank you, washing boy. Thank you. Dave Jones. <laughs> Has everyone been enjoying my um, Hoover Dirt Searcher series? Let me know what you think about it. You can really hear the, the big drum. You can really hear the clothes in it bashing against the bottom of the drum. Beating them, beating it, beating it, cleaning it. Well, thank you, Washington Boy. I really appreciate that. It's very kind of you. I've started another Hoover Junior as well for um, uh, another friend, actually, of mine up in Scotland. The one that I went to pick up. It's a more modern, it's a 19, I think it's like an early 1980s Hoover Junior um, with a top fill bag and it's got the new style front that you need to, you need a screwdriver to take the front off it. I'm doing a full refurb on that. So I haven't done much over the past few days because I was busy with, with Jordan visiting um, and then it's been the long, it's been the bank holiday weekend so I've been really lazy this bank holiday weekend so I'm gonna crack on with it tomorrow um, I reckon there'll be balancing issues with towels mixed with other clothes I hope not um, Edward Tochi better stay online Chris has anyone checked out the link yet um, hang on a second I'll do it now where are we Oh, I'm just going into the link now. Ah, so breathe the difference. Relief from indoor air pollution. A healthier home from the ground up. So they've got air purifiers, water purifiers, um floor care and laundry solutions uh, let's have a look at laundry oxygen peroxide and other gases bubble into clothing to lift away dirt and odors makes clothes softer build up on towels linens your clothes can weigh them down over time laundry pro lifts old detergents out of fibers Restoring their natural softness. No maintenance. Laundry Pro requires no cleaning or maintenance to operate at peak performance. All right, okay. Mm. Okay. Let's have a look at floor care. Oh, I tell you would like this is Miko. They've got a range of um, Electroluxes in, um, in Canada. So you've got the canisters and then you've got the uprights. I'm sure I've, I've seen that. They look very SIBO-esque. And then that's a central vac. I'd love to have a central vac. Floor polisher. So there we go. So that is um, Eris Home. Let's go back to this. Uh, 
Uh, Dave Jones, yeah, it's very good. UK Skin, surprised uh, you weren't at Birmingham Pride. Ah, no, I'm not. I'm not into the Prides to be honest. When I when I lived in London many moons ago, I used to go to the London Pride. Um, but it's just it's just so expensive to get in now. It's just it's commercialised for me. I'm too old for bloody Pride. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I didn't go. Did you go to um, Birmingham Pride UK Skin? Connor, what is the washing machine playlist called on your channel? Um, I've got a couple of playlists uh, of washing machines. So there's LG, Hot Point, Rolls. And then there's another playlist which is washing machines. Live longer with Calgon. Uh, washing machines, uh, washing. And Washy Wednesday. Oh God, did I find my mouse? I can't find your. I will double check because I keep meaning to do it and then something prevents me from doing it. I will double check for your mouse. Oh my God, I have such a memory. Nothing like banging like a Salvation Army drum. Mm -hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. No help to us in the UK as we can't buy. Uh, that was regarding the um, place where um, Chris works. They have a Lux Guardian. Reese, never too old. Pride is 40 quid to get in. There's no way I am paying £40 to get into Pride. Thank you very much. UK Skin. Husbear was working. Uh, but didn't want to go on my own. Oh, babes, I'd have gone with you. No, I wouldn't have, actually. Uh, I'd have rather have spent the £40 on us going out and having a meal. Uh, what is the video of your sister's hot point called? Oh, my God. Um, hang on, let me look. Let me look for my friend, because I'd do anything for my friend. Bum 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 bum. I'm riding up in my garden again. My watch is on. I'm a friend and a companion. Right under the title of washing machines. And if you threw a party, invited everyone you knew. You would see the biggest gift would be for me And the card attached would say Thank you for being a friend bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. I can't find my sister's washing machine I can't find it I can't find it Maybe it's under hard point. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I can find the video. Right, okay. Hot point's got 27 videos. No, I can't find it. I will have to go through my videos and have a look and see. So we're talking about six months ago. So I'm going to have to go through the videos and have a look. Maybe, possibly, maybe it's not in a playlist. But I will double check for you guys. Calgon, the best song. I'm running out of Calgon. Somebody please contact Calgon and ask him to send me some more. Uh, my dad ended up at Birmingham Pride. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm surprised you weren't there, Dave. Uh, Reese Williams, hence why I didn't go into it. Yeah, exactly. 40 quid for that. 
I could stand at the front gate and shout, I'm gay! I don't need to pay £40 for it. Um, I'll a laundry detergent I'd buy with £40. I know. Jordan, just going to Birmingham to sit in Starbucks and go on Grinder. Oh, it worked for me. <laughs> exactly. It just takes the price of a coffee to get laid these days. Oh, God. UK skin. I'm a cheap date. Uh, the all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet is less than 15 quid. UK skin. I'm there. Let's book a date. Max. I think I'm about to start screaming. Currently on Plan Z. And it's still not working. Why? Me. Uh, washing boy. Do you like... Mm, do you like the Mila Twindos washer? I have no idea what that is. Um, Vlask Media. Thank you much for the subscribe. Ah, oh, you're more than welcome, honestly. It's not a problem at all. It'd be interesting to watch that video. Tommy Hanlon, Mr. Lux. Now you're live, I don't know what to say. I think I'm starstruck. Oh, good grief. Please, I am just an ordinary person. Tommy Hanlon, Tommy, 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 don't leave me this way, I want to know. I'll probably get copyright struck, but to be honest, with the tunes that I sing, they don't even sound anything like it. Uh, Mark Fontaine, sorry, been away, was up unloading the tumble dryer, what have you, uh, have you tried Fairy Softener? No, I haven't actually. I have so many detergents I need to use up. I'm going to use up some of them and then buy some more. Dave Jones, he went on train to New Street. Ah, and then accidentally ended up in the Pride. And then he had a rave on down in Canal Street. <laughs> this is so funny. I remember once we were in London, we took my dad along um, Old Compton Street. He was, he was fine. He's, he's very, very fine. But he was just, um, yeah, it was a bit of an eye opener for him. Mark Fontaine, eating dinner. I'll be back. Oh, send me some more, Mark. Edward Byrne, I'd, uh, I'd very softener, but no smell when close dry. Oh, right, okay. Uh, when did you wash your carpets, Chris? Um, funnily enough, I have some videos coming up of shampooing the rug in the kitchen, the rug in the living room, and the bedroom carpet. Uh, but the rest of it I did last year. I only needed to do those ones because they, they get the most tread. And before you make any comments about cleaning my bedroom carpet and the most tread, I'll, Mr. Jones, there'll be trouble. You small town boy. Yes, I am. I have tried fairy softener with my Axi auto dose, and it's okay. You don't really notice it. Uh, I don't like that. I like to be able to notice the smell because when I was changing the bedding um, on th Friday, and I took the bedding out to the cupboard and I opened it up to put it onto the duvets, the duvet covers smelled really nice. Uh, Chris, we like trouble. It's very rare that I'll get a suds lock in this washing machine. Even when I've tried to do a suds lock on it, when I've... Like, I think it was last week when I put loads of the tablets in, it didn't um, suds lock at all. Um, you need to clean the Chihuahua Wee. Oh yeah, in the um, in the New York guest room, I will need to put the carpet shampoo on. But that room need to do it anyway. Nasty bedroom carpet. Uh, UK skin. Put fairy liquid in it. That'll says lock it pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, it certainly would. I think so. 
Uh, when are you going to do your Rolls Twin Tub video, says Washing Boy. Um, I'm still waiting for a solution for the part that I need. So that's on kind of hold at the moment. Edward Byrne put fairy liquid in it and you can get suds lock then. I definitely would. Where's Nicki Minaj? She's normally here now. Uh, Chris, was the bedroom carpet nasty? Um, no. No, not bad at all, to be honest. It's only been down a year, so I only gave it a quick whip over with the, um, with the washer. Actually, I don't have the, um, I haven't got the Vax carpet washer with me at the moment. It's at Reese's house. Reese has been using it. But carpets never really get nasty. The only ones that really get nasty are the ones by, it's this one uh, by the kitchen door. The big one, because that's the one that when the dogs and cats come in and out, that's the one that gets the most um, of the first dirt, if you know what I mean. So that one does. Um, don't put fairy liquid in. I think they are referring to the washing up liquid for dishes. Yes, they are. And I'm not going to be doing a studs lock with some fairy. <coughs> <laughs> Edward Byrne, you won't get it back. Uh, yeah, I will. He's going to actually message me before I did the live stream saying he's going to drop it off this week. Uh, and it foams like my Yeah, he knows that. I remember when I lived in London, when we used to go down to Trafalgar Square, I didn't do it, but uh, some people would take bottles of fairy liquid down with them and they would sort of like secretly squirt it into the fountain at Trafalgar Square. And that was a foam party. I used to have fairy liquid in the fountains in Nottingham as a kid. Oh, you are a naughty man. You are a naughty boy. Uh, two hours and 12 minutes. UK skin. Cover your doggy's ears. I am about to check the temperature. Uh, we are at 53.1 degrees Celsius, so we are pretty much on par for temperature. Can you put fairy liquid in a dishwasher? No, you can't. You can put fairy branded dishwasher tablets, but you can't put fairy liquid in there. It's, um, it'll, it's too um, foamy. Believe me, I tried it as a kid. Um, I used to put fairy washing up liquid in my machine many years ago when I was young and stupid. It was a beep to rinse out if you didn't have softener to hand. Yes. Edward Byrne, no! <laughs> UK Skin's having dishwasher panics now. No, don't put fairy in! Where's Dexter? Dexter! <whistles> Dexter! <whistles> Alexa! Alexa! Stop! Alexa! Drop in Scott study! God, can we have a cup of tea? I'm in the laundry room doing a video. Can you bring Dexter down with you as well? Thanks, Kitty. I love you. Alexa, stop. 
Ah, oh, anybody else want a cup of tea? I've asked Scott to make tea for us all. Uh, put washer surf gems. She said locks. I don't use them anymore. They're horrible. UK skin. You'll open the door and all you'll see is one solid cube of foam. <laughs> it can also end up in the base of the machine and trip the power. Max, Alexa, get the tea sleeve. <laughs> Edward, lazy sod, you're next to the kitchen. Yeah, but I'm I'm talking to all I'm talking to you. I'm talking to all my little Hoover Luxes. Talking to all you guys. Oswald and I can't move. We're trapped. I hope my panties come out nice and fresh after this wash. Three hours should bring them out. Honeymoon fresh. The Sky Engineer came out today because we were having issues with the um, router losing power. So when we had it fitted a couple of weeks ago, Sky are a nightmare. They're, they're absolute freaking nightmare. So anyway, so the engineer came out today and he's given us a couple of extra boosters. So, and he was fit. Honest to God, he was gorgeous. He had loads of tattoos, really manly. He was a really nice guy, actually. Anyway, he sorted out our Wi-Fi issue. Uh, washing by I'm like the ALG water level um yes but if you check back on my videos I took the top off and I altered it to increase the water level ever so slightly just one rotation that's all it takes um, UK skin, if we still had Aerial Ultra, you could completely dissolve your panties in three hours. Definitely, there was no way I'd be using um, Aerial Ultra on this kind of cycle. Can you imagine? I'd end up with an empty washing machine. Jordan, how do you clean the outside of your machine with it being black? What do you use on it? Um, pledge. This is what I use on it, because I did it just before the video, so I sprayed a little bit of Pledge. So that's how I keep my washing machine clean on the outside. Uh, when you said BT was shite, you loved Sky, and now you hate Sky as well. What? To be honest, I liked... When we... Okay, God, this is, this is complicated. When this area first got turned on for super fast broadband, Sky couldn't do it. We would have had to have waited, I think it was another six to eight months. But BT we had a special offer where it was all for free. So we switched from Sky to BT because our, at the time, the Sky box was old, um, the equipment was old, and the router was old. And at that time, which was seven or eight years ago, BT had the best router and everything, and it was just switched over to super fast broadband. So we switched with, to BT. Um, but by the end of that, then the router was getting a bit clunky, and the signal was dropping out. And we'd increased our gadgets and stuff by then as well. It you do. Um, they weren't willing to change the router without having to pay a fortune. So. And they weren't really willing to help with the Wi-Fi signal boosting issues that we were having around the house. So we contacted Sky and then Sky came up with um, all these promises about, you know, blah, 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 this, that and the other. And then we had the Sky, additional Sky Q box and this, that and the other. And it worked out to be £30 a month cheaper with Sky than it was with BT. So we changed with them. But if you ask Reesless the, the, or Jordan, the routers that they come with with Sky, the bog standard routers, are absolutely rubbish. They're, they're really crappy. 
so they've had to put in three Wi-Fi boosters around the house just so that we can get Wi-Fi signal up into the attic. But it's been sorted, it's been done today. Uh, washing by, why not two? Why not two what? Put washer surf gems in for stud locks. Uh, I don't understand that. Why not two? Uh, Connor, I need to go. Can we chat on Instagram later? Yeah, absolutely, Connor. Just message me later. Just DM me, my friend. Mr. Sheen shines up team. Things clean. Connor, because I might end up being lonely and I want to talk to someone and I chose you. Ah, You talk to me, Connor. You message me later, my friend. Um, Edward Byrne, let's show the message. Mr. Sheen is shite on glass, smears all over the f all over the joint. <laughs> Max, BT sent us a new router for free. Oh, well, they must love people down where you are. They hate us here in Grantham. Um, Edward Byrne, Mr. Sheen is shite on glass, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Sky are robbing shitheads. Um, I agree. Max, they even sent an un, uh, and sent an engineer because we were getting our advertised speed. They obviously just love us. Yeah, that's what I just said. UK skin. When I had BT broadband, I ditched the BT home hub and it increased my speeds by about twenty percent. Um, to be honest, I wish. Well, to be honest, oh gosh. We could have just bought our own router for BT. It is possible and easy to kind of like change your router with BT. But if you ask Reese to do it with Sky, is near on impossible. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Mark, can we get a temperature check? Hugh! Hello, my little cubby. How are you, my lovely little furry friend? Washing boy, why not to LG water level? Oh, no, don't, um, if you, oh, God, I don't recommend doing it at home. Do it at your own risk, because you probably void the warranty. But I would only recommend turning that dial up to one, you know, one rotation to increase the water level, not two. Because you really won't get the cleaning ability with too much water. Uh, Edward, Beard Boy is here, yes. Someone's made my afternoon. Hughes here. Yay, Max. Uh, Raheem Grant looks like LG got a friend. They got a friend in me. Afternoon, everyone. You are Hugh. You are very popular here on Hoovalux. On the washing live vlogs, everybody loves you. Reese, hey, Hugh. Oh, everyone fancies Hugh. Right. Um, UK skin. I'm about to take a temperature test. Please cover your doggy's ears. Sixty-one point one degrees. We have reached the temperature, and the glass is hot. Y'all easily pleased. Oh, it's not. He was because you're lovely. Max, the, that's probably accurate. I think everyone does love Hugh. Yep, yeah, there we go. We all love you, Hugh. Look at his little cheeky thumbnail with his lovely little beard. Isn't he lovely? Um, excellent results today. Yes, we have reached 60 degrees. So that is 60 degrees Celsius. So that is always a positive. Oh. Hubby Lux is here. Ah, <gasps> oh, look what he's brought. Ah, oh, give me baby, baby can, baby pussy can, baby can. I can't see. Mm. 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 Sleep on the big old thing. Olivia was a jealous because I'm rubbing my beard on Dexter. Stay with Daddy. That's sweet. 
Stay with Daddy for five minutes, just as I did. Oh, it's the pussycat. Oh, it's my pussycat. Who's my little pussycat? My pussy's gone crazy. My pussy's gone crazy. Soft kitty. Warm kitty. Little ball of fur. Soft kitty. Warm kitty. He's gone up above the washing machine now to protect it. He's looking at me. UK Skin. Hi, Happy Lex. UK Skin says hello. Hello. Uh, Excellent results today. Edward, you like hairy men then, Dorian. And where's Hubby with that tea? We're parched here. He's You'll just hear the kettle going on now. Uh, Hugh, I'm humbled. You're very welcome, Hugh. Trains of Britain Max. TBB, not the autocorrect, will be killed. Edward, he heard me. Of course he heard you. Didn't you hear it, Edward? Uh, Hugh, ah. Oh. UK Skin, hi, Hubby Lurks. Uh, Edward Byrne, that's not tea. Can't drink the cat. <laughs> Squeeze it. Ooh, he's gonna squeeze the kitty. Uh, Hugh Dexter is lovely. He is very lovely. He is a lovely cat. He's just at the top of the washing machine. Raheem, uh, is that a Bosch there? Yes, the dryer is a Bosch. Washing by you, a uh, vacuum cleaner Superman. Oh, thank you. Mark, please be careful. You, you're sending my Alexa crazy. <laughs> Alexa, 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 Alexa. Alexa. Alexa, add Lube to the shopping list. Um, <laughs> have I added something to everybody's shopping list? <laughs> I see yellow pants. Um... No, no, they're not the yellow pants. They're in the coloured... I haven't put them on this week, actually. I remember on That Life in the 80s, they made tea in a washing machine. Oh, I'll have to look that up. Mark Fuentain. Dorian! Mark, you're sending my Alexa nuts here. <laughs> Alexa, add cat food to the shopping list. Oh, I am naughty. <laughs> Edward Byrne, what's lube? <laughs> it's a type of cooking oil. Chris, I'm glad I don't have an Alexa. Mark, it didn't add it. Hugh, is the Amazon press detergent any good? Yes, it is really good. Mark, no, I don't want cat food. FFS. <laughs> Yuki skin, it's something you put on your nuts. <laughs> yeah. Tell Alexa I love you. Alexa, I love you. I'm flattered. Thank you. Oh, she's flattered. Thank you. Uh, Hugh, I must give it a try. Well, to be honest, I have had a look. Don't put cooking oil on your nuts. Uh, I have had a look online on Amazon and I cannot find the big boxes of washing powder. Um, Jordan was with me when we were looking at the time and we just could not find it. So, yeah. I'm going to unplug this from charging because it's 100%. So I'll leave it for a bit. Mark Fontaine Dorian with a devil sign. Yep, that's me. That made my eye uh, skip a beat. <laughs> Don't say. No, uh, I won't, uh, Jordan, say that. We we were doing that. We were winding it up saying, um, hey, Siri. She didn't like it. She got very angry. And you don't like her when she's angry. 
Call it Alexis as well. She doesn't like that either. I'm slipping down, yeah? Slipping down easier than a pair of pennies. Oh. That's better. Oh, Dexter's here. Dexter, come say hello. Do you have a tray to your cupboard? I can't open the cupboard. Will Alexa start the washing machine if you ask to? No, unfortunately, it's not a Wi-Fi one. I would like that. <coughs> but would I, would I though, really? I mean, if, if, I'm, if I'm having to turn the washing machine on, then, I, you know, unless the day comes when she can physically... Thank you, happy looks. When she can physically... Put the clothes in the machine and the detergent. Then I would ask her to, but um, I can't see the point. If I'm going to be there loading the washing machine up, I'd either switch it on or switch the timer on. left on this wash. <coughs> so very clever kitty. So very clever kitty. <coughs> I thought you were going to dip the cat treats in your tea, no. Dexter likes to have his little biscuits fed to him by hand. It's lunchtime here, so in Canada, it's lunchtime. What the dog's down here? No. I bring them down half past six to be fed. <coughs> you alright? No, okay. Come on, one more. I know you want it. He's a very patient little cat. Uh, right, let's go back to some comments. I'm bored of feeding cats now. Uh, every time my electric uh, goes off, I set up my Wi-Fi washing machine again. It's crap. Uh, Edward, I thought you were going to dip the cat treats in your tea. Uh, lunchtime, we're going to have lunch. Enjoy your lunch, Chris. Tell us when you're back what you had. Washing boy, um, do you like LG twin washing machine? Um, ah, I, I, do you mean the one with the little one underneath? Um, um, yes, I would like it. Would I use it that often? I don't think I would. hair in my mouth. Uh, UK Skin, I just ate super noodles. I love super noodles. Have you tried, you can get them in the pound shop, the um, the Maggie two minute noodles, the Australian ones, they're really nice. If you like super noodles, I can highly recommend the chicken and mushroom ones uh, from the pound shop. They're in the yellow packets. They're Australian from Maggie. Um, they are a lot nicer than super noodles. Uh, washing bar, yes. Um, yeah, I do. I would like one. Um, I, but to be honest, I would like one of those front-loading 
small washing machines. I think it's Dayu that make them. Um, they're Chinese you, or Japanese or somewhere. You bolt them to the wall. Um, so it's it's actually sort of like a, uh, you know, a vertical f small front loading washing machine. I'd rather have that because I've seen the washing action of the, the pull out one. And I think it's a bit kind of, it's a bit kind of weak. Um, I'd rather have the one that you could bolt to the wall. So if anybody has one, I would like to give it to me. Um, I'll take a look. Thanks. Um, they're on Amazon. Beko Mad. They're on Amazon. Okay. Yes, I have. Um, I have seen them. I, I would love, love one of those. I might have to put one on my, on my wish list. Uh, Hugh, I'll see you later. I have to visit my friends in hospital. Bye, Hugh. Say hello to your friend from us. We will miss you. Mwah! UK skin. I was thinking one of the little wall mounted would be great in the bathroom for the towels. Um, if you're very slim and you use small towels, I think you'd be fine. But I th don't even think it would take one. It would possibly take one bath towel. Bye, y'all, said Hugh. Oh, look at his little picture, his little beard. Mm, cutie. Scott, my tea is too hot. It's, there's some nice suds coming into that load. It's really washing well. The jet that's going into it now, it stays on longer. That The time seems to... Yeah, the washing machine's definitely warm. On the side, it's warm. Oh, hey, Jordan, subscribe to me. Yay! Right. UK skin, I'm going to check the temperature again, so please mind your doggy's ears. Uh, 63.2 degrees, we've actually gone above. Oof, that glass is hot. Yeah, it's definitely 60. Uh, the compact bolt on machine would be handy for the workshop rags. Uh, yeah, definitely. I would like that. Uh, I'll take a three kilogram load. So, ah, uh, right. Okay. So should take a bath sheet and a flannel. <laughs> Beko Mad on eBay for £142. Really? Is that £142? Oh, okay, that's good. If anybody wants to buy me one. <laughs> uh, washing boy. Are you do video LG wash shoes? Um, <coughs> yes. <clears throat> I have special... I, don't, I haven't got them there. You've seen them. I've got special trainer bags that I bought on Amazon. And uh, you put the trainers in them. It's like a, a, a wide mesh bag. Can't you skip it to rinse? They're clean now. No, we have to have the full effect. We have to have the full cycle. Toji will kill me. Ping pong, stop scratching. Do you want a treat? Ping pong. Come on. Ping pong's out now, but she won't come over. I won't tell him. I won't tell him you skipped. I swear. <laughs> these are these are factual, scientific washes. My wash and vlogs. Four hundred. All oh, right. Okay. Maybe I'll skip that. Four hundred. Four hundred and forty-two pounds. Okay. What is that yellow thing in the washing machine I see wandering around? 
Skippy to the rinses would make this cycle pretty pointless. Skipping to the rinses. Uh, back on my 400, mm, yeah. You're breaking up. Breaking up is hard to do. Is anybody suffering with breaking up? The softener won't go in if the final rinse is skipped. Ah, okay. Don't worry, Mark. I am going to leave it as it is. Rowan Wells. All the white bedding is done and hung up on the era, and the duvet is on the banister. The dark load I did previous is back in the machine on a rinse and spin with Comfort Intense Sunburst Softener. Rowan Wells, you are doing very well. You have done your laundry. Gold star for Rowan. Oh, I just love the sound of the clothes in the washing machine. It's really nice because you can really hear the noise of the sploshing and the slopping of the clothes. I really do love this machine. Edward Byrne, I hate laundry hang around the house. Shove it all in the dryer. <laughs> oh, Edward. <laughs> It's not too bad because if uh, shorts and t-shirts I'll hang up on on um, hangers I've got in here, but the the stuff that um, that I can dry in the tumble dryer I will. Um, I've got those sort of like washing line things, you know, with like lots of pegs on it for doing socks and stuff. So if it's a nice day when I'm doing washing then um, I'll put it outside. But otherwise, I'll just put it straight into the tumble. But the thing about it is, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll do washing on a nice day. But on a nice day, normally we're out. We, we're gone. We, we're doing something other than laundry. I normally do my laundry on days which aren't nice. Can't have the neighbours popping round and see my smalls drying around the place. <laughs> That I agree with. I don't go for for putting all my sh socks and pants and everything on the on the clothes or so I only put towels and shirts and t-shirts and stuff. All my pants and socks, I put them into the tumble dryer. Uh, washing boy, try silent aromatherapy, a hundred day softener. Oh, can you get that on Amazon? Rowan Wells. The darks got wet on the line. I was so annoyed, yes. So I used the rinse to freshen them up. Yep, I've set myself a goal to try not to use a dryer in the summer, but the darks will be straight in the dryer now. Very good, Rowan. Uh, how long is left? One hour and 40 minutes, um, Rahim. Rowan, I always put smalls in the dryer and towels if it's raining. Me too. Uh, 
Oh, I should tell you guys what's coming up next week. Hang on a second. Let me go into my studio app. Done really well with subscribers this week. It's gone up quite a bit. We're almost at, uh, what are we on? 2,479. We are almost at two and a half thousand subscribers. I tell you, that is incredible because I hit 2,000 subscribers back in March, February, March. Um, and we're not, we're not even in June yet. No, we're not in June. And uh, I'm already at almost two and a half thousand subscribers. That is amazing. So as soon as we hit 3,000 subscribers, I've got an unboxing special, which is a pneumatic vacuum. Then we are going to jump. I'm going to be adventurous and I'm going to be, what do they call it? Um, I don't know, I'm counting all my eggs before they hatch. Uh, the next uh, special then is going to be for 10,000 subscribers. And there's a very, very special machine that's going to be unboxed for that one. Uh, right, okay, videos this week. What have we got this week? Oh, actually, I'll get my diary. I'll, I'll do it on my diary. It's better. It's quicker. Uh, Rowan, I always put smalls in the dryer, blah, blah, blah. I use dryer all year and never, ever line dry towels. I hate them hard. <coughs> I agree. Um, but I do find that if I do put the towels on the line, they do go like cardboard. But then I put them in the tumble dryer then for like 20 minutes, softens them back up and they smell gorgeous. Um, UK skin. I've got two dryers and I hate them both. Saving up for a meal of heat pump to replace them. <gasps> oh, yeah. Now you're talking. I right, get the biggest capacity that you can. To have more room in there not for sort of like the amount of clothes you can put in there but just sort of like for the um for the space inside is wonderful chris is back after his lunch very good what did you have chris tell us what is a canadian lunch uh rowan i do the same with towels um well like i do put them in a the tumble for 20 minutes after line drying them which isn't very often Ping pong, come over here and have a cuddle. Come on. Psst, 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 psst. Can I have cutchies? Can I have a cutchie with daddy? Meatloaf sandwich. Ooh. Nice. Maple syrup and bacon. Nah. When we were in Canada, um, I really loved coffee at Tim Hortons. At Timmy Ho's. Mm. And I loved going for donuts as well at Timmy Ho's. And um, we'd always get a box of Tim's Bits, which are the, what they, they say is the center part of the ring donut. They're called Tim's Bits. We'd have a box of 20 Tim's Bits. It was yummy. I was watching a, a, a number of um, Julia, Julia Childs, um, the um, French chef, uh, on TV, on YouTube, it's really good. She's a re she was a really good cook. Is it snowing in Canada? It's always snowing somewhere in Canada. Isn't that right, Chris? I guess the rain's down in Africa. <laughs> oh, last night we went to the cinema. Uh, we went to see Rocket Man. Oh my God, it was amazing. I loved it. The film about Julia Child is quite fun. Is that Julie and Julia? I like that. I watched that a few weeks ago. So yeah, so last night we went to the cinema and we saw Rocket Man. The guy who plays Rocket Man, can't remember his name. He's Welsh apparently, um, the actor, and um, he is cute. He is fit as fudge. He is absolutely gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's our spring summertime now. Uh, UK Skin, that's the one, yeah. I love that movie. I did feel a bit awkward 
because there are a couple of scenes in the movie where um, Elton is kind of like there's a there's a couple of intimate scenes there with a, with another bloke, and um, I did kind of like feel sorry for all the heterosexual men in the audience, the husbands who'd wives and dragged them along to go and see Elton John. It would have been interesting to know what exactly they were thinking when those scenes were going on. Uh, do you like the Iron Man films? I only like Iron Man 1 and Iron Man 2. Don't like the others. 1 and 2. But 1 is my favourite. Uh, is there a bath mat in the washing machine? Yes, there is a small one. <laughs> uh, UK skin, we have to put up with endless heterosex scenes so it's payback time. Yes! <laughs> I hadn't thought of that, that's so funny. Oh, I've put up with so many tits in my life, it is time to get some willies. Oh, what happened there? That just did just a little, you know, it's back on. They had a bit of a hissy fit then. Oh, I think that yellow thing is a logo on a t-shirt. UK skin. You're, you still haven't contacted me. You're all very kind of... I reckon you're somebody famous. I reckon you're a celebrity. And you can't reveal your real name. Either that or you work for MI5. Either that or you're... Are you a royal family? Are you a royal family? No, you wouldn't be a royal family. I don't know. Maybe you're a royal family. There's something. Don't overload your washer. Absolutely. Don't do what I do when I did when I did that video last week. Not how, how not to treat your LG with dog toys, doggy bedding. Infamous, not famous. Hmm. Some suds now. Oh, I need the loo. Are you guys okay if I leave you for a few minutes while I go to the loo? Ah, ah, ah. Oh God, I'm old. I'm old and fat, old and fat. And oh. Hang on, I'm not going anywhere. I want to watch this. What's going on? Ciao. That's hot. You okay, skin? Guard your dog's ears. Uh, 60.5 um, It's already started rinsing now 1 hour and 31 minutes And it's starting the rinse So it's adding more water to it This will be interesting Because you'll see The water level Go up A modern washing machine Where the water level goes up to the door
I'm back. Oh. I brought my Hoovalux diary for you guys to see what's going on next week. Um, tomorrow, the 28th. I'm back. Hang on, I've missed messages. Hang on. So, Tuesday the 28th is the Hoover Junior Dirt Searcher Part 4, the brush roll. Wednesday is Washy Wednesday at 6pm, so that is Dynamo Liquid on Colour Load. On Thursday, um, I've got the... Oh, I've got a premiere. So, at 11am on Thursday, I will be live with you guys on the premiere for the Hoover Celebrity Floor Polisher. Uh, demonstration Friday talking about that so Friday is the Vax Dual V ground floor demonstration video of washing the rugs using the Vax so you'll see that on Friday on Saturday is my gadget review unboxing and first demo of the Amazon Echo input which looks like a skinny it looks like a skinny flapjack Oh, where's Toji? It's unbalanced. And then on Sunday at 11am, we've got the Vax Dual V Advance cleaning the bedroom carpet. So that is next week's schedule, my little Hoover Luxes. Right, let's have a look. That overload comment was directed to you, Dorian. What overload comment? Oh, yeah. Um, you guys, you got a sink in there? Yes, I do. I have a sink in the utility room. Uh, on the throne, I went for a wee. Mark, oh, right. Washing boy, first, first spin, guys. Mark Fontaine, sound effects, anyone? Edward Spurn, first spin. Mark Fontaine, will it suds lock? Nah. Uh, <laughs> Edward Burn, nah. Uh, Mark Fontaine, you don't, you don't you just love LG? I do. Where is Mr. Lux? I went for a wee. My 12 kilogram LG in shock goes bang, bang, bang on the spin. This one does sometimes as well. It's a pain in the arse. Uh, smelt ya before we heard ya. Ew. Uh, oh man, he's back. Edward, mixing towels with other clothes does this. Uh, Edward, stop mixing your towels. Oh, I didn't have enough um, towels to do a full load of just towels. So I, I do these demonstrations so you don't have to.
I ever tried bold two in one. Um, no, I, I don't like bold. It's funny because my mum always used Ariel when we were kids. Um, that was the main one that I remember, but she never used bold or personal because it made my dad itchy. So I, I doubt very much it would make me itchy, and I will, I will get some to try. Um, but yeah, when I've finished these, uh, put all if I've put all the darks in the dryer on an extra dry because there's jeans in there. I've done all the laundry today. You have two loads to go. Load, load to do tomorrow, one light and then a quite a big load of towels. I love Ariel but often use Persil. I'll tell you one powder that I'm really proud of and really, really happy with is that Daz. Um, colours and white. Colours and darks or whatever it is. Colours and white. Persil makes you itch. It used to make my dad itch. It used to have itchy testicle so my mum never used it okay so we're on a spin so we're doing well Edward Byrne, question, anything. Edward, I am an open book. You can ask me anything. Anybody can ask me anything. What's your daily vacuum? Well, would you be surprised if I said for downstairs my daily vacuum is the Dyson V10? That's my daily vacuum. Um, if I'm vacuuming the bedrooms, I've said this before, I go into the Hoover room and I pick a different one. Sometimes I'm in the mood for a Hoover Junior, sometimes I'm in the mood for an Electrolux. Sometimes if I want to do under the bed, I will pick a Mila or I'll pick a... The one I go to, brilliant for doing under the bed, is the, um, the pig-nosed one. What's that called? Silver American with a pig nose. Um, Edward, you use Calgon in the washer, right? I only use it for hot washes. So I only use Calgon for 60 or above. What temperature do you wash bedding at? I normally wash it at 40 degrees, or I will use the duvet cycle, but turn the temperature down. Will Calgon wash the clothes on its own without any detergent? No. Rowan. I like Daz to use to watch our old football kit for a club with that and there was two teams so I it could be from four to eight loads of kit including training bibs and warm up tops and the kitchen towels at the club. Um, and Rowan how did it, how, how, I mean if you're going to be using a football kit then that's going to be really stained so how did it, how was it? We are spinning. I wash my bedding on 90 every two days. Girl, what do you do in your bed? Mark, we use Daz at the shop, but prefer Ariel for personal clothes. Look how quiet it is, with hardly any vibration. Machine. Oh, hello, Dexter. Sleep amongst other things. With what? Swamp monsters. Uh, can you show us the vacuums? Um, <clears throat> I'll do a separate video on that. Because I have a gimbal, a really, really, really nice three axis gimbal. Uh, gifted to me by Jordan so thank you very much Jordan and I will be using the gimbal and I will be doing a test video with it when I do the unboxing and I'll do a test video going around the house showing you all the vacuums 
Um, has the LG ever walked? No. Uh, Chrissy, a live video, I hope. Uh, no, I will do. Um, I will do a video, video on it. Maybe at some point I will do a live video, but um, no. Chris, boo. <laughs> I will do one eventually, but um, I'd um, I'd like to do it with somebody here, because then I can engage in conversation. Plus, as well, I don't have all the knowledge of the vacuum, so if I had somebody with me who does, then um, it'll be more interesting for me because I'll be able to answer the questions properly. Because I'm not an expert at all. Uh, Mark Fontaine, why on earth did you buy a 12 kilogram machine for one person? I didn't. There's. Um, there's two of us, there's two adults, three cats and three dogs. We go through a lot of bedding. Not not bedding as in bed bedding, but as in dog stuff and cat beds and uh, clothes and towels and we 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 have family over quite a lot and visitors and stuff, so I do a lot of bedding for the guest rooms. Uh, a full load in, uh, in the old LG Intello washer, 7 kilogram, using a full scoop on the synthetic or delicate of 40 cycle. It got everything clean, but we used a cotton 69 <laughs> with uh, a pre-wash for the white shorts. Ah, right, okay. So relaxing. Edward, can you do final spin with the door open? No. Uh, I also used a super rinse on them. Excellent. That machine must run 24-7. Um, no, I reckon I do four loads a week. Because it's quite a big capacity, and with me changing every day, sometimes twice a day if I'm doing work in the, in the garage, um, on backs and stuff, um, and it's because it, takes, it can take a basket of clothes. So four washes a week, um, five sometimes. Uh, suds lock please. Hey Noah, um, no no suds lock I'm afraid. It's quite rare to be able to do a suds lock on this. You really, really, really have to mistreat it by putting in fairy liquid to get a suds lock. It's only happened twice. Yeah, it is, yeah, because it's such a big capacity, I don't have to do that many loads. Uh, Mark Fontaine, ever tried heat cover detergent? Yes, I have. Um, I haven't tried it, no, I have tried it in the machine. It's on, um, I did it on the cycle of gentle wash when I was doing wools. Um, but the gentle wash cycle on this was rubbish. Oh, I did the, um, and then I put it on the speed 14 in the end. What rinse is it on? Uh, four rinses left. On the dial there, it's got four. So this is the second rinse. I didn't really need to put it on rinse plus, but I did. I shouldn't have bothered. It's my fault, um, Raheem. I, I increased the rinse number on it. I shouldn't have bothered. It's my silly fault. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was user error. That's not the machine, it's me. It's idiot, idiot error. <coughs> the machine might be idiot proof. But that doesn't compensate for the idiots using it. Well rinsed pants. I definitely like my pants well rinsed. <clears throat> so have you guys got any questions for me? Come on, ask me questions. I'm an open book. Turn me to page 24. 
Uh, how often do you run the dishwasher? Oh, bloody hell, that goes on like once a day at least. Yesterday it was on twice. Do a lot of cooking. Um, after you are done with your stream, I might go live and show my ARS machine. Oh yeah, definitely, that'll be good. Uh, when did you get the LG? Um, January. I drove all the way up to near Newcastle for it. it. Took me three hours to get there. It was three hours back because I got it for 400 quid off. I paid 500 pound for it because it's what they call seconds, damage seconds. So there's a dent at the front, there's some scratches at the top and scratches at the side. Um, so I had it as a, it was brand new with a bolt and everything in it, but it had been delivered and something must have happened to it and there was some scratches on it and whoever bought it refused it uh, and then the company I bought it from buys all this stock and then they sell it, sell it at big discounts. Uh, Rowan, I do about eight for two of us in a nine kilogram. If we have extra laundry like blanket, rugs, Huey sheets, what's Huey sheets and towels? I find now I wash the bedding twice a week. Now it's almost the summer. Uh, will the wash be finished before my beloved soap start? Uh, there's one hour and 18 minutes, so I'd better I'd sky plus them if I were you. Rowan, I find the dog bedding needs washing more often lately. Uh, it gets so dirty so quickly. I meant guest sheets. <laughs> ah, so that's how you do so many loads. Have you got a guest house or something, or do you just like have like us? Do you have a lot of people visiting and staying over? The glass is cooled down a bit now. That action, I love it. I change my clothes daily, nice and clean with Ariel. Yeah, me too. Lots of family over lately, but we'd love a guest house, but I haven't got enough room, I don't think. Oh. Uh, Rowan, where are you? Whereabouts in the UK are you? Or Europe or the world? I assume UK. South Wales. Oh! Bloody hell, I didn't know you were from South Wales, man. Where are you? And from Swansea and I. I think I've asked you this before, haven't I? I have a memory of a goldfish. Did you ever try Ariel Pure Clean? It's been discontinued. No. No, I didn't. I didn't try that. Rowan, uh, nice from Cumbran. Oh, it's nice up there. Uh, Raheem, what is your favourite washing machine? Mm. Well, I've not really used many washing machines, so I would have to say my favourite... So if I could have any washing machine in the world, I would like one of those... I would like one of those Samsung 22 kilogram washing machines, those big ass ones, the American ones with the um, with the washing the small washing machine underneath, and then the dryer to match. Um, and I would also like a Speed Queen top loading washing machine. And I would then next to that I would have one of the LG top loading um, washing machines, but not the one with the washing plastic thing in it. 
but just a, a top loader with a glass top. I'd love to have one with a glass top. Then next to that, I would have a vintage Hoover twin tub. Um, and then next to that, I would have a the very, very early Hoover Keymatic, the one which leans at the front. Uh, that's my, I remember my nan having one of them. So yeah, that would be my that would be my ideal um, laundry room. You sound like one of the guys from Poplar Come. Do I? Oh, I, I Dim Shadi had come back. I don't speak Welsh. Uh, Louise. Hello, Louise and Bruce. How are you guys? Did you see my video yesterday where I gave you a shout out? Uh, hate top load. Don't clean clothes as well as front load. Don't spin well either. I agree. But we won't say that because we'll upset people. Uh, ever used a detergent you hate? Yes, I have. Um, yes, I have. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I have. Um, I'd love a Sam's Louise. I'd love a Samsung ad wash machine. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Jordan, I'm back. I want to get Hagen Das ice cream and pledge polish. Are you going to go um, wash? Uh, are you going to pledge the front of your washing machine to do a live stream, Jordan? Um, Louise, why don't I like the ad wash? Because. For me, it obscures the view of the door, so I can't see in the washing machine. Um, you can only open the flap for a certain time during the cycle. So you may as well just press pause on your washing machine and put your sock in, because it's the same thing. It's just not opening the door. The water levels don't get that high during the, during the times that you can actually add wash. So, what's the point? You may as well just put the washing machine on pause and then open the flap. Plus, it's just another thing to go wrong with a washing machine on a door. Uh, are you polishing your ice cream, Louise? Yes, it was great. Shout out the thank you. Also, his name is Brett, not Bruce. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Brett. I knew it was something that sounded Australian. <laughs> I'm going to do videos on it, but not live, as I don't have enough subscribers. Oh, go and check out Jordan's channel. He has been sorting out his room so that he can do videos. So go and check, do you want, um, go and subscribe to him. Rowan, Samsung ad wash are rubbish in my opinion. My dad and his partner have a Samsung Eco Bubble is great. The ad wash door fails too. You don't get a, a good view either. No, I don't recommend the ad wash. No, I think it's a gimmick. Like curved, um, do, you, do you remember those curved screen TVs that were sort of like all the rage a few years ago? Oh my God, what a nightmare. Ooh. We're unbalanced. We're not happy. Yep. Exactly. Stop and resort. Somebody somebody put the jinx on me. They said it wasn't going to balance right with the towels. Who was it? Louise, no problem. Mark, uh, do you ever watch the LG away from the vlogs? <laughs> Truthfully? Uh, sometimes I do, yes. Um, I won't... God, it all depends. Um, I will normally watch the first 10 minutes because I love the first 10 minutes um, and then I leave it. But I do normally watch the first, at least the first 10 minutes of the wash. Um, it's spinning. Edward. <laughs> Rowan. Yeah, get a certain size screen replacement either if something went wrong. Edward Burn, I did. Um, I used to when I, I, I did sometimes when I was a kid. So if you mean when I was a kid, 
I did sometimes, not very often, but I did used to sit in front of it sometimes, very rarely. Louise, it's not the first time I've forgot something for the wash, that's why I was thinking of the ad wash, but I'll take your advice, thanks. I mean, think about it this way, if, if you're putting in washing and you forgot a sock, you can just put the machine on pause and put it in. So it's exactly the same as that. It's just being it's just being advertised as, as this. It's being advertised as though you can open that flap any time. It's not balanced. This is the issue with this machine. It's a bugger for balancing. Um, yeah, it's just it's just not worth it because you can't open that flap at any time during the wash. It's only during certain times. And anyway, when you, want, when you want to open the flap, you have to put the machine on pause. So you may as well just open the door. Do you have Memorial Day over there? Uh, no, we don't, I'm afraid, Garrett. It's a gimmick, Rowan. Yes, you're absolutely true. It's a gimmick. It's an absolute gimmick. Um, Louise, I thought you could any t anything at any time. No, they don't tell you that on the adverts. Edward, don't blame the washer, it's the towels doing it. It was you, Edward, that jinxed me, you little minx. <laughs> but there are hundreds of thousands of happy users of the ad wash, so don't take my advice on it. I'm hardly the expert. Actually, I'm definitely not the expert. I'm just a fan. I was right. Oh, you were, Edward. You jinxed me. Are you going to buy another washer? Um, nah, I'm happy with this one. There is a surprise coming up at some point in the future, but I'm not telling you guys anything about it. Uh, Mark, it, it is the machine. We didn't have any of this balance and nonsense back in the day. <laughs> you tell him, Mark. Um, yeah, th this does, uh, it is, because it doesn't have the block in there, and even though this is the Centrum version, it still is far more um, chintzy on balancing than older machines or other branded machines. But its benefits uh, far outweigh the balancing issues for me. But I do wish it had. Um, but I do wish it wasn't so bloody um, delicate on the balancing. Uh, Toji, where are you exactly? Rowan, I still don't like the ad wash. I've tried to turn myself round, but I still think it's a gimmick. I prefer an ordinary machine. Mark Fontaine, like I said, our LG in shop normally goes bang, 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 bang during spin cycles. You know it's on. This, is, this balancing thing is definitely an Achilles heel. Just buy a machine you can pause. I pause mine all the time and it's not an ad wash. Uh, Dorian, it's being naughty again. Yes, it is. Washing boy. Um, do you like Hot Point 9530 washers? Oh my God, I have absolutely no, no idea what they are. I'm so sorry. Jordan, same here, yes. Let me, where's the battery for my light? Okay, it's spinning. I'm just changing the battery on the light. There we go.
Right. Oh, what have I missed? Brandon has a 953 on his channel. All right, I'll go and check it out. Uh, Max, we are now on plan X3, and I have made 50% progress. Well done, Max. We still have one hour and eight minute left on this, and it's gonna take even longer. The bloody thing keeps balancing issues all the time. Let me just update this. But when it does balance, it's just so quiet. It's beautiful. And its washes are so good. And it starts knocking. Where's Toji? I think we're going up to a thousand RPMs right now. Or 800, I think. Sorry for the spin so far. The thing is with the washing machine videos and the washing machine channels, um, I like to be able to watch the entire wash from beginning to end. Um, I find it a bit frustrating when you only get like four minutes of the machine. I like to see the whole thing. I like to hear the entire thing and watch its quirks and things. Plus it's just so quiet, it's lovely. Live vids are easy to make, no editing to do. That is true, um, but the reason why I do the live videos is so that I can chat with you guys, really, and you can you guys can speak to me. Um, as you guys know, Jordan came up. Jordan is one of my subscribers. He came up from Birmingham for six days, five days, and stayed with us. Um, and I think he had a whale of a time. So it's kind of like. I like interaction with people, I like interacting with you guys, I like being able to chat to you. Because it what's the point in me just putting out all the videos and just sort of like liking and commenting? It's nice to actually interact with you guys. I enjoy it. I enjoy it as being part of the channel. And probably a, there's a, a billion people out there who think it's really boring, but I don't care. I do what I do and I like chatting to you guys. Chris, uh, Dorian, Electrolux over here in Canada is now called Eras. It's the original Electrolux company. Yeah, I think that, oh, a bit of a spin break. Um, I was talking to somebody who works for it in that company in South Africa. Uh, 
Louise, I liked your videos with the A with AEG one two three last week. He's very thorough and detailed. Also, I loved that he cleaned up for you. <laughs> AEG George is amazing. He is such a nice person. All those people, everybody I speak to, but George and Chris and Phil are the guys that I've met the most and um, Rob and Paul of course and other people as well um, they're really really nice people I, I really look forward to going up there and I really enjoy making videos with George because he's just so funny he's such, he's, he's such a nice guy he's very very dry witted um, he's very funny and just genuine he's very genuine oh I miss what you said about Eris um, I was talking to somebody who works for the Aeros company in South Africa. I'm sure it was Aeros, or Electrolux Commercial or something, but that name came up. Dorian, you're such a nice fella, love your vlogs. Oh, thank you. I really enjoyed when Jordan came over and visited, it was really nice. I do like Tide. I have, um, when I was in the States, I brought back some Tide pods, but I didn't realize until I came back that Tide is basically Ariel. It's made by the same company, it's just branded different. Uh, Edward, do you look at the washing machine um, when you're not doing lives? Yeah, I do. I said earlier, I normally just um, I watch like the first 10 minutes of the load. So I watch like the first 10 minutes or so. I like watching the machine fill up and the the cycles at the beginning. Uh, Aeros is a great machine. Yes, they are. I would love one. I would like one of the Aeros uh, with the electric power head, Chris. I'd love one of them. Mark, I went to the Zug machine. I've never heard of that before. What is that? What's a Zug? Is it a pub? All three of our canisters have a power head. I do like a powerful head. I really do like the power heads on vacuums. Yes, Max did it. Uh, Louise, I find that supermarket home brand powder and detergents do just as good a job as branded ones. To be honest, Louise, I have to agree with you there. Um, for everyday washing, I mean, I, I did it uh, on last week's. I used the um, Little Zone or Aldeone, I can't remember which one it is, in the tablets. Um, and it did a really good job. The thing about it is, it's kind of like the clothes don't, my, my clothes don't get really dirty, dirty. So I'm fine with using own brand detergent. Um, if I am doing like, if I'm doing like the rags in the garage, I do like to use something like Ariel, something that I know is really good on stains. But for day to day washing or day to day clothes, Almat and all of that are perfectly fine. They may not they may not have such a strong smell. They may not be that brilliant on really hard tough stains. But like I said, for everyday washing, who has grass stains and mud stains on their clothes every day? 
I mean, not everybody. I certainly don't. So a own brand washing powder is fine for me. Yeah, they can be. It's kind of like, it's always nice to kind of like keep a good one, a little box of it or a packet or something somewhere. So that if you kind of like really do need a deep down clean, you know that you can rely on it. So, you know, should could always sort of like keep a small packet of Ariel or somewhere nearby or wherever, just for those kind of like stains. Like if I'm, if we have people over for dinner and I put the tablecloth out, um, you can guarantee that there'll always be food stains on there and some of the food stains can be really difficult to get out so having something like Ariel or something close to hand um, it's always handy it's always handy to have a, just a little bit of a good one it's like um, dishwasher tablets if I've got pots and pans and a big load uh, and a heavy load then I'll use my Finish Quantum but if it's just everyday dishes I'll just use the, um, um, <coughs> I'll just use the um, Aldi brand. As the powder is brilliant. Don't think I've used it. I mean, to be honest, washing powders, I've, I, I mean, some of them, like the surf ones, I've got the little boxes of surf. I'll have to try the Aldi one. Once I've got, once I've got a bit lower, once I've used up a number of the detergents, because i got quite a bit, um, I'll get some sort of like own brand ones, like Asda's and Tesco's and uh, Pound Shop and wherever. I'll get a, a couple of them and we'll try some stain tests. How does that sound? Me and Brett are both allergic to Daz. Uh, it breaks us out in a rash. Yeah, I was saying that earlier on about, um, was it Purcell? Or bold, bold two in one, or bold. We could, we'd never use bold. It made my dad itchy. But the um, the daz that I got, um, thankfully, touch wood, I've had no issues. Rowan, I like Aldi Magnum. They're amazing. Or Fairy Platinum and Platinum Plus are great. Yeah, that's those are the ones I use. The Aldi ones. I can't remember if it's Magnum. It's in the cupboard there now, but. Um, I don't. I'm not wrapped on the fairy ones. I find it. I find them too smelly. I don't know. I'm just not wrapped on the fairy. Again, it's just what people what people just use. Probably nothing wrong with it. Still got 50 minutes to go and Happy Lux will be down in a minute to feed the dogs so I'm not going to stop it I'm just going to push you back so that um, Happy can feed the cats and dogs. Okay we are emptying another rinse. Let's pray and hope that we don't have an issue with the spin. <coughs> Oh, I can never sleep now. What's the best liquid for auto dosh machine like mine? Everyone is on about powder. Girl, you got an auto dose. It's your fault for buying it. <laughs> I don't know, aerial liquid? I like aerial. I like aerial. If I had an auto dose machine, I would use aerial liquid. But then again, I've got Almat liquid in the cupboard there that I need to do a video on. I think I'll do. I think I'll do the Almat liquid in the next live vlog. All right, I'll use the Almat liquid. Because in my imagination, that does the back of that spider looks scratched and buggery. I think it could be the, um, I think it's just the screen. Or it looks like it's been attacked by a 
bag of nails. Come on, pump, pump. Um, if you're on about Louise, if you're on about Jordan's machine, it's um, it's going to be liquid only because the auto doors only works with liquid. Washer fan fifty three, aren't you bored? I'm not. No, because I'm chatting to you guys. I'm chatting to Washer fan fifty three. I'd never be bored. And Louise and Jordan and Rowan and Chris and Mark and Edward. I'm only yawning because I'm tired and lazy. Are you making me all go? I'm not tired. I'm not bored of you guys ever. Right, please don't. Oh, we're gonna be okay. Yes. I'm too lazy not to use. I'm too lazy not to use tech. <laughs> if I ever come over to Birmingham, Jordan, I'm bringing a packet of powder with me so I can put your machine on a boil wash with some powder to clean it out. It's a little bit of knocking, but I'm sure that's going to stop once it speeds up a bit. Edward's fault, blame Edward. I hate to say it, but you slipped up on today's videos. No gloves. What was I doing today? What was today's video? Uh, today was the headlight. Um, no, that wasn't so dirty, to be honest. Um, it's really awkward sometimes to use the gloves when I'm holding something or polishing something. I normally use the gloves if it's going to be something really greasy or really, really dirty. But um, if you watch a lot of kind of like restoration videos, a lot of them don't use gloves because I like to be able to feel what I'm holding. If that makes any sense, I like to have a proper grip on it. Because if I'm like if I'm polishing that lens today and I don't have a proper grip on it, I could it could happen like what happened to the Dyson. It'll bloody fly out of my hands and break. So sometimes if I'm doing the polishing where I'm where I have to hold the item, I like to have the feel of it in my hand. So I only really use the gloves if it's gonna be something that's really, really manky and dirty, like when I was using the when I was emptying that bag yesterday. Uh, Max, that took way too long to fix. Although, if it was Mad OS, you couldn't do anything. Mac, I think he means, uh, to fix it would have to reinstall. So, I guess it wasn't too bad. That's very true, Max. Rowan, I'm dreading tomorrow. I've got quite a bit of ironing to do, about three loads to do. Oh, no way. Forget the ironing, Rowan. Tre Max, Mac, not Mad, yes. Jordan, it's due a tub clean. Very good, Jordan. Waiting to film it. Very good. I'll be looking forward to seeing that. Uh, oh, when you were retro brightening the lens. Ah, yeah. I should have been wearing the gloves for that because of the peroxide. My bad. No glove, no love. <laughs> Dave, you are a minx. Uh, Edward, I'm back. I nodded off. Edward Byrne, you had a little nap. That's that's what happens. My videos are like sleeping aid. They're not interesting, but you get a good nap out of watching them. Yeah, definitely. I should have been wearing the gloves where I was when I was doing the retro brightening. People think I'm weird, but I love ironing. No, 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 no. My sister is the same. She irons absolutely everything. Um, and she loves it. For her, it's her therapy. Bet you do, Mr. Lux. <laughs> uh, Rowan, I've got a Bosch iron. It glides through the clothes and gets creases out quite well. And I'm and it makes light work. Now, the funny thing is, Happy Lux has been sorting out through the cupboard in the attic. In one of the attic rooms is a cupboard that leads into another room. 
um, which is like our storeroom, and Happy Lux has been in there all weekend sorting it out, pulling out all the different stuff that we can either sell or take to the tip or give to the charity shop or put on eBay. And one of the things is my Swan steam press, like in Prisoner Cell Block H, B. Smith. I've got one of them. So I will be doing a video on it and then I'll be putting it on eBay. I love ironing too via the tumble dryer. Edward Byrne, I love you. You're so like me. Um... Oh no, that's true, you can. That's very true, Mark. You can just pour it into the drum. But the point of having the auto sense is so that you don't have to bother with it. Uh, I see that machine has an EU rating of A++++ minus 55%. How long does the cycle take? In mine it's an amazing nearly 5 hours. Uh, on top of the roof, you're very correct. You have to put it on the cotton plus cycle, which can take up to 4 hours. And it's a really crappy bloody cycle. But still, in general, because it is a direct drive washing machine, the electric usage is lower. So I am kind of, that rating there is just like vacuum cleaner ratings. You have to take them with a pinch of salt because that rating is on a certain cycle that you do on a Tuesday at 3 p.m. Um, on a day where there's a full moon. Then you get that rating. Do you know what I mean? Um, I see that machine as a rating loser. Rowan, I bet he he loves doing that. Um, does she ever do your ironing? No, she lives in she lives in Swansea, so no, she only does her own and her hubbies. Uh, Louise, I'm actually thinking of getting a steam generator and iron. Mm. They are amazing. I love steam generator irons. Love it. They are fantastic. Highly recommend getting a steam, steam generator iron. Dave, I was asleep last Wednesday. <laughs> Rowan, same here. Rowan, does your sister ever do your iron for you? No, sorry, she lives in South Wales. And I'm in Lincolnshire. Jordan, I use my tumble dryer all year round. It's cheaper than buying the clothes era. Everything a fluffy, no dog fur and no wrinkles. Dave Jones, I've a press but put dad to work on it. What <laughs> you? You lazy bugger. When you move in here, you're going to do your own bloody ironing. That's the reason why we've been sorting out the cupboard in the attic, because Dave's moving in, it's going to be his gimp room, he's going to be kept in the gimp room. How is your sister getting on with the shark you gave her? Oh, now that's Verity Lux. Um, Verity Lux, even though she does look like she could be my sister, she's actually the girl that um, we used to work together where I used to work before. Um, she's not actually my sister, but she does, she could, she looks more like she could be my sister than my actual sister because my sister is darker skinned than I am with dark hair. She likes it but she's got dark hair. I am the only one in the family, apart from my grandfather, who has ginger hair. Everyone else tans and goes brown and has dark hair. My mum, my dad, my sister, olive skin, dark eyes, and I'm the milkman. Right, Hubby Lux is here now to feed the dogs. So I am going to push the camera back. I'm gonna leave it on, but he's gonna be feeding the dogs because the dogs can't wait any longer. So I'm just gonna move my style. <clears throat> Just for a few minutes, while Hubby Lux feeds the pugs.
I might just drop my mug. It didn't break, thank God. Mark Fontaine. Is Dorian Gay? Scott, is Dorian Gay? Yeah. Yes. Mark, I'm as gay as a row of tents. Louise, hello, happy Lux. Hello. Louise Sturton's up in Scotland with her husband, Brett. Oh, hello. Mark Fontaine, scrap that question. Girl! What do we feed the dogs, happy Lux? Show them, show the viewers. Ta-da! Pedigree vital. Happy's ass. He's got bland pants on. <laughs> Mark Fontaine, I'm gay too. Yay! Come join the club, Mark. Oh, no, Dropsy. He's gayer than a row of pink tents with gay men in them sniffing poppers. <laughs> Chris, hi Abby Lux. Dave Jones says you have a nice butt. Dave Jones is supposed to be straight. Yeah, right. Uh, on top of the roof, the roof, the rating cycle works well in my sampling. It just takes bloody ages. Use about half a kilowatt of cold water connection to the rest New members of the Bland Boxers group. Yes, next week we're going to be washing Abby Lux's Bland pants. Mark, I'm surprised the LG in pink. Uh, I'll have to get some transfers. Desperately hungry kitties. I'll take you outside for a minute. Ping pong. Psst, 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 psst. Joey. Does a fish need feeding? support Richmond that's Melbourne that's a Melbourne team Has Hubby Lux fed you, Dorian? No, he hasn't. I'm going to be feeding him later. No rude comments, Mr. Dave. Uh, 
Hang on. I forgot that we bought some mealworms for the fish. Mmm. They smell nice. Smell mm. They do actually smell nice. Oh, goodbye, washing boy. See you later. Is anybody coming to eat? Yep, there's a large uh, if you're wondering where the water's a bit cloudy, it's because I've just put some treatment in there. How did you and Scott meet? Uh, we met on Sky TV dating channel back in 2000. Five, four, back in 2004. That was a very expensive Sky subscription, he said. Um, do you leave the fish out in winter? They will freeze. Um, no, 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 the deep, uh, the deep. The pond is six foot deep. So it goes down to there, and then it goes down, down completely, down to about six foot. That's Emily. There's Lucy, the yellow one. The big one there coming up now, that is Ricky. All these fish, these big massive koi, we, we only bought them when they were small, when they were tiny. They've all grown in the pond because it's, it's a very, very deep pond. Dave, I love fish. Well, when you come over, we'll sit outside it. How many fish do you have? In the pond, I think there is about, I don't know, 30, 25 to 30 fish, yeah. Right, I'm, I'm hanging out here because I'm waiting for the, oh, they finished now, they finished their foodies. Nice duck. It's a mallard and it's well hard. Right, let's get you back inside with the washing machine. Come on, Millie. Come on. Right. Back to the washing machine. unbalanced right let's go back to questions uh, will Dave use the LG when he moves in no uh, watch boys God Louise is happy from Melbourne yes he is from Melbourne Max how did you answer that do you leave the fish out in the winter yes oh my god they like piranha I love fish said Dave how many fish nice duck um dave jones for laughing why do they eat outside the dogs are oh, they just uh, normally do when the weather's dry they eat outside um <laughs> edward the fish have no choice but to eat outside i think he means the other dogs oops uh xx dark knight 2004 xx hi hello to you my friend i don't know if you're still watching but hello So we've got 35 minutes left on the wash. 
My biggest idol is also from Melbourne. Uh, is that Jason Donovan? There we go. As you can see down the side down there, I have two packs of surf that I haven't opened yet. Another pack of something I haven't done a video on. Jason Donovan's birthday, same as mine. Louise, yes. Is Jason Donovan from Melbourne, Scott? Yeah. You think so? This year in Skegness, in Butlins in Skegness, um, all the 80s uh, guys are going to be there. Um, who was there? Roland Gift. Huh? Roland Gift. Who's Roland Gift? Oh yeah, Roland from Fine Young Cannibals, Jason Donovan, um, the King of the song, The King of Wishful Thinking. Uh, Jason Donovan is a prick on Dancing on Ice. <laughs> I haven't seen it. <laughs> Jason Donovan was born in 1968. Wow. Louis Sturton, Malvin. He's from Malvin in Melbourne. Uh, Jason Donovan, uh, Malvin, Melbourne. Is there a neighbourhood in Melbourne called Malvern? Malvern. Oh, Malvern, is it? M-A-L-V-E-R-N. Yeah, Malvern. Yeah, that's sort of Melbourne. Oh. Come on, Zach, come in. Hello. Hello, Zach. Come here. Hello. Hello, Daddy's boy. Did you enjoy your foodies? Yeah. Did you enjoy your foodies? Did you enjoy your din -dins? Did you? Go and see them. Go see the dogs. Go on, quick. Jump over. Up. Up. Okay. One more rinse to go after this. 32 minutes. <gasps> it's Gilligan. Oh, Daddy's going to go for a walk. Yes, Mal Scott. I pronounced it wrong. Scott, Scott said it's um, it's in uh, it's in Melbourne. Scott lived in Melbourne. He was brought up first of all in um, around near Patterson Lakes, where they filmed the comedy series. Um, Kath and Kim. I think Jason Donovan has a secret stalker. Is it you, Edward? Are you his secret stalker? He's still fit as fudge. I used to fancy him like crazy when I used to watch any of those back in the day. Yes, I like his chocolate dad as well. Dave Jones, if Jason Donovan was made of chocolate, would you eat him and where would you start? Do you tumble dry bath mats? Yes, because my bath mats are basically like towels anyway. 
that he don't have the rubber back. His big head. Yeah, I bet you would. <laughs> he is still so hot. Don't tell Brett I said that. I promise I won't say anything, Louise. Um, but I still think he's so hot too as well, girl. Okay, we are on the final rinse. Yes, I can see the water is cloudy going in, so that is the softener. Anyway, probably, probably Brett fancied Kylie Minogue, did he? Or was it plain Jane? Sod Emmerdale, I'll stay here. <laughs> Louise, Jason is following me on Twitter. Oh my God, I can't believe it. <gasps> Louise, he's a stalker. He's stalking you. Rowan Wells, I ha hate the rubber back bath mats, but I also like the soft fluffy ones too. But I prefer the towel like ones. Yeah, me too, because they just you can just chuck them in the wash. They're just easy to wash. Max, I'm not sure if the whirring is your washer or my PC trying to cool itself. CPU under load is at 85 degrees. Wow, that is hot. Or hotter than the washing machine. Now, what is the name of the character in Emmerdale? I don't know if he's still in there. He's one of the farmer guys and he's really muscly. I can't remember the name of the character. Um, he is just so fit. I can't remember his name, but he is like amazing. Dave Jones, you need a mini Mac. Can't hear it all. Ooh, Dave is going for a fight there with Max. Max doesn't like Mac. Max is a PC man. Calvin Fletcher, a.k.a. Andy Sugden. Oh, no, he left to do motor racing. Oh, my God. He is just... He's not really super attractive. He's got nice lips. He's good looking. But his body is amazing. His body is amazing. Oh, I've come over all flush. Right. Final rinse. 29 minutes left. Do, Chris, do you have more laundry to do? Yes, I do. But I will just be doing it on stealth mode this week. So I'll do another load tomorrow. So what I normally do is I, I just put it in. I've got a big colours load to do. So I just put it in the machine. I watch it for about 10 minutes and then go off and do something. I don't have any darks to do because I did them the day before yesterday. Did you like Craig? Um, yeah, I did. I didn't like his curly hair. He had a really nice body, but I just really wasn't into his curly hair. Will you let anyone else use the LG? If anybody comes to the house who knows how to use an LG, they're more than welcome to, but Happy Lux hasn't got a clue. And any, most other people don't normally do their washing while they're here. I should have asked Jordan, actually, if he wanted to do any washing. I didn't think about it. I could have done his laundry for him. Didn't think about that. But um, yeah, I'll let, I'll let um, somebody use it if they wanted to. I wouldn't have any problems. What about Stefan Dennis? Nah, didn't fancy him. Didn't, I just didn't, nah. 
just put a bottle of Dettol machine cleaner in, forgetting I had washing in my machine. Oops. Never know now if Jordan has bland pants. Uh, no, they weren't bland at all. have a cute face and you're more friendly than Rob. <laughs> Thank you. I am friendly. Uh, Max, sorry Dave Johns, but vomit. Apple products are gross. They are overpriced. They are from an over function as they overheat. Non upgradable and Mac OS is useless. It's bloated and you can't customize it. <laughs> because you are into PCs and sort of like swapping and changing and altering them, I see your point. But for me, I don't. I I, I haven't got the first foggiest idea on how on on how to do that. So I just literally just want to switch it on and use it. But I see your point of view. Completely. Um, Raheem Grant, can you do more live streams? Um, I do the washy ones, but um, Louise, where did I get my cushion from? Um, I actually picked this up in Kmart in Melbourne, um, but I'm sure you can get them on Amazon. But I picked this up in Kmart when we we're in Australia. I think it was like about six dollars. I got it from Kmart. Um, Mark, apart from the balancing issues, this machine seems to have done well. Uh, yeah, it has, Mark. You, you're really right. It, it, it can be a bit chintzy with the balancing, but in general, as a washing machine, again, I've only had it six months. Um, I, I, I've had no problems with any of the washing coming out of it at all. Um, as for Apple, yes, they are they they are overpriced, but I like iOS. It's really to use and understand. Yeah, that's me because I'm a bit of a simpleton. They are overpriced, um, but I do like how easy uh, to use and under, and understand. Uh, Mark, have you tried the method detergent from Tesco? No, I haven't actually. Mark Fontaine, let me have a look at your channel. Oh, I haven't subscribed. Yes, now I have. There we go, Mark. Let's have a look at your videos. How to wash net curtains the correct way. Um, you haven't done a video for two years. I've just subscribed, Mark, so I will check out your videos later. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, no, I haven't tried the method detergent from Tesco. I will do some videos on the store brand ones. Louise, I prefer PCs too. Apple are a rip-off. They can be. Um, but I do have to say that I'm, I bought that my Mac second hand. Um, and I upgraded the um, memory on it, and it's fantastic. I love it. Um, Mark Fontaine, don't watch the Woolite vid, for God's sake. <laughs> okay, why? You make me want to watch it now. Um, I also prefer Android phone to iPhones too. My sister's the same. She always prefers Android, and my brother-in-law, her husband, always prefers Apple. It's all personal preference. Oh, 
Okay, so we've started spinning now on the screen. 23 minutes left. I need to make more vids. Yes. Hope Dexter's come by. Come on, Dexter. Go another way. You look bloated. Uh, cough, cough, Dorian. Bought a 2012, 2013, actually. I got it wrong. MacBook. And paid 400 quid for it. Yes. <coughs> paid 400 quid for it. I recently paid another 400 pound to have everything upgraded on it. And it works like a brand new machine. It is just boom, 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 fast. Love it. Uh, Louise, I filmed a very amateurish unboxing of my shark powered lift away a couple of years ago on my channel. I stopped filming myself because of some very nasty comments about my personal appearance. Well, hang on, Louise, let me go onto your channel. There we go, I am actually subscribed to you, Louise, so there we go, we're done. Let's have a look. there you are now I can see you oh that's so cool oh I'll have to watch this one I like your carpet as well oh wow you even got a comment from somebody else Another subscribe, another um, VAC person. That is honoured. You are honoured. Shark rotator powered lift away. I love it. That is so cool. I will be checking out your videos, Louise. Oh dear, it's embarrassing. Oh, Louise. You do, you will always get horrible people in this world, unfortunately. And doing this channel, I have got skin thicker than this bloody washing machine. Um, I don't care what other people think, the negativity. It, it's, it's water over a duck's back. But I can understand how comments and things can affect people i totally do but i went into this youtube thing with with the yeah with a very very thick skin chris i keep meaning to send you the yes you do um with the lg you can switch it off at two min switch on the door will hang on a second oh yes uh, how long is the final spin 16 minutes louise oh dear it's embarrassing that's just it you're just being yourself that's brilliant max i paid 179 pound for a thinkpad 250 mint condition and is even still under lenovo warranty it's from 2015 so it has fifth generation i5 versus the second third generation in your macbook 400 quid is not a good price for a seven year old <clears throat> max i think we're just going to agree to disagree <laughs> louise i'm thinking of starting more vapids again i don't know i'm scared just put on your thick skin coat and to the people to the negative ones. You do whatever makes you feel comfortable, my friend Louise. You're lovely.
do it, Louise. Ignore the haters, girl. Exactly, is what I say, Edward. Ignore the haters, girl. Sorry, I'm just fighting my corner. <laughs> You're like a little pit bull. <laughs> Louise, Brett was my cameraman on that vid. Ah, okay. I will give points on cameraman when I've watched the video. I know it's easy for me to say ignore the hard comments, but you have to. Anybody who thinks of doing a YouTube channel, you really, really have to ignore them. Uh, Mark, have you had the back off the LG yet on the LG? No, thankfully I haven't had to. Uh, I don't intend to unless something goes wrong. And then we will have a good old nosy at the back of it. I've had the top off. You can have a look at the video on that. <gasps> Motion detected at the front door. Happy Lux is back. So I reckon we are still on about an eight or nine hundred RPM at the moment. And then it's going to slow down and then ramp up to the full 1400. Uh, Edward, where's the filler on the LG? The filler? Do you mean, do you mean where the, um, where the thing goes on? The hot, the water tap? Is that what you mean? It's on that side right at the back. I just remembered I took the um, charger off the um, phone. I didn't put it back in. Hang on, guys. Oh, he means the filter. Oh, sorry. Um, it's down there at the front. So down there. Uh, Beckle Mad. Hi, Mark. Can you do a review of your AEG? Uh, the coin trap. Yep, down there. Mark Beckle Mad. Okay, I will do. Beckle Mad, thank you. We're like our own little social media here. We are on these live streams. 18 people watching now. Wow, hello to the 18 people. <laughs> as soon as I find the camera. Cool, I like that. Use your phone. Some people use their phone like me, and some people use proper cameras. For me, I just find it easier doing the filming and the editing on my phone. Mark. Please don't be rude to Dorian, he is our host. <laughs> we aren't. <laughs> Okay, so we're slowing down. I think my beard needs trimming. It's all bushy and soft. Would you like a request of my Beko? From me? Just do a cycle, it'd be cool. Actually, I might subscribe to you. Yes, I am.
Uh, Edward, which is better to film, camera, phone or camera? Completely up to you on how you do your editing and processing. Um, I do all mine on my phone. Some people do it all on the PC. So if you're doing it on a PC, then I guess it doesn't matter. You can just use a camera. Please do more videos on the beard, please. <laughs> what, should I just like sit here with a camera pointing to my beard and talk to me? And lower too, oh God. The, um, the beard straightener and the uh, hair clipping video that I put out the week before last. That's the closest anyone's ever gonna get. Beckle Mad, are you using dryer today? Yes, I am. Because it's been raining all bloody day. We did go out to the garden center. I needed some pond salt, mealworms, and some um, some stuff for the pond that clumps the lumps together, the bits of green, and put some through the filter. I needed some of that. Beckoma, do you think I should put my AEG 7000 series back in? How do you mean? Okay, we're ramping up now to get to the 1400. Just, just listen to how quiet it is. Come on, ping pong. Ping ears. Come on. Come through the cat flap. Take my hot point out. Um, oh. I have I have no idea what those different machines are. Yes, I did. Um, Sam and I talk um, all the time, literally every day. So he told me about it when he first had the idea, and when he asked the guy, and he sent me a picture of what the place was. And I was like, oh my god, that is so perfect to do your videos there. I hope he does more videos there. Does the dryer ever turn out damp garments? Only if you wanted to. You could set the settings so they come out damp for ironing. Um, but, no. Ramping up now to the full 1400. Mark, do you iron anything? Practically no, but you will next week or the week after start seeing some washing machine videos of washing the curtains around my house so there are lots of videos on washing curtains for you guys to enter to watch and the curtains that are by the front door need ironing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to iron them using the b smith prisoner cell block h iron that i have uh, as a test I'm going to do a video on that. I might actually do a live vlog doing it. Um, and then I'm going to sell it on eBay. So you will see me ironing that. The only other time I do ironing, Scott has a couple of shirts which have got casual shirts which have got like loads of like badges sewn on them. And that needs ironing, but he's not allowed to use to wear that. Um, Louise Sturden, what do you prefer, vented or condenser? Or condenser? definitely condenser especially a heat pump condenser and you can actually get heat pump condensers now which are not that expensive um, and they really do knock the price off uh, using them so dramatically 
definitely get a heat pump condenser. So cheap to run. Um, how long is this cycle? This cycle has been... This cycle has been, what, three hours? How long have we been on? Uh, Mark, I'm a dry cleaner, spend the days, weeks, iron in. Oh god, I couldn't. I just do my potato in. Uh, Edward, prefer condenser dryers. The hose on vented gets too dusty and could cause fire. That's very true, Edward. Louise, my friend is a massive prisoner cell block H fan. He's even been on the set tour. Oh yeah, we have as well. It's fantastic. Um, the studio is in a suburb of Melbourne called Nana Wadding. And literally four, four or five minutes drive from there is Ramsey Street. Is the street where they... Ramsey Street. Um, now in Prisoner Cell Block H, do you remember... Because that was the studios. That was the... That was the ass end of the studios. It was the back entrance of the studio. And that's why it looked like, you know, the prison. Um, but in front of that, where they used to play ball games, and there was the garden, if you remember, they had like a vegetable garden and the conjugal visit had and all that. Well, that's boarded off now because that is where they film the um, outdoor parts, like the back garden parts of uh, Neighbours now and then the inside shots are filmed in the studios of Nana Wadding, in Nana Wadding, where um, Prisoner was uh, filmed. It's filmed in there. Uh, Beck or Mad, can you use your phone to do a review of the AEG? That can't be for me. Mark, there's a new system called Xerox. It washes garments using beads will be domestic models coming out soon. Okay, that'll be interesting. Uh, Pinoak Court, Ramsey Street. Yes, we went there. Uh, Max, I actually should have said this earlier. Can you run Shadow of the Tomb Raider on Ultra Settings on Mac Mini? Didn't think so. I have no idea what that meant. That was... That was... Uh, Rowan. We have a Beko condenser tumble dryer. It's great. We've had it for about two and a half years now. Yes, very good. Just make sure that the lint and everything is really cleaned off them. But yeah, they'll be fine. You are? Happy shower. Oh, happy Lex is going for a shower. Anybody want to join him? There we go. coming to the end my AEG dryer sticks and it's doing it right now oh so now we got the stepping motion now again now for um, Uh, da, 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 da. Chrissy, no thanks. I don't know what for. Um, can you can get the lint trap brush cleaners on Amazon? Uh, what was your previous dryer? It was oh god, I can't remember. It was one of the ones that was on the list to that was the fire risk, which is the reason we put it outside. Uh, is it a myth that condenser dryers cost more than vented? Definitely. Condenser dryers cost less than vented machines, but the heat pump ones are amazing. Don't want to go for a shower with Scott. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> now I know what you mean. <laughs> did you scrap the dryer? Yes, I did. Um, I contacted the company to tell them that this my one was on the list. And they said that they would come out and fix it in about six months. Um, but I could still use the current one now as long as I sat in front of it while it was on. 
after the phone call finished, we took it outside. We took it to the tip and we called into Curry's and bought this one. No way. I've survived. We, we, we had one house fire. Mark, love you, Dorian. Same time next week. Well, we haven't quite finished yet, Mark. So if you just want to hang on for a few more minutes, we're just going to do a little bit more. Hang on now. Hold your horses. Let me get rid of that. Put these to one side. Ugh. Put the iPad back into its little cushion. Cushion. Pop it up the top. Grab <laughs> one of these. I love these. Yeah, the, the look at the the spider on that. That's scratched to buggery. That's obviously something that um, has scratched it, but it's really scratched. Right, okay. Shirt. Amazon Presto with Sard Australian um, Ultra Whitening. Smells wonderful. No marks on the collars. No marks on the cuffs. My cuffs and collars are perfect. Uh, so the stuff I'm going to hang up, I'm going to put there. So t-shirts I'm going to hang up to dry. They're only pyjama t-shirts, but I still hang them up. Towels. Looking absolutely fantastic. It's not overly powerfully fragrant, but everything has come out really clean. And nice and bright. Pants, I'm gonna check them. These are just rags from the garage that I use, but um, they're clean. They're not going to come up perfect. Socks, flannel, nice and clean. Uh, bath mat, this is the bath mat, one of the bath mats. Oh, something on there. There's not much life left in this bloody bath mat. I tell you, it's, it's donkey's years old, but it does the trick. There's a hole in it. Pants, socks, more towels. Um, kind of rough, but another rag. Another rag, another flannel. My, to be perfectly honest, my laundry doesn't get extremely um, stained, if you know what I mean. I don't play rugby or football or walking up mountains and stuff. There's my bland pants with the stretch front. They've come up very nice. Socks. Oh, something stuck. Sock and another t-shirt. Just a pajama t-shirt. Uh, let's have a look. Pet bedding may have scratched it, possibly. i tell you what it is, when I did the pet the dog toys... <sighs> uh, Mark Fontaine, I'm hanging. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, be doing EG review, I'll have to go in and spend quality time with Brett. Thanks for the stream, thank you Louise. Uh, Mark, as soon as I've done some, I'm trying to find the camera. Pet beds, may have scratched it. I think it's the dog's eyes. Shocked at balancing with three bar sheets. Tell me about it. Um, Blaska Vidya, amazing. I was away for an hour and a half and you're still filming. <laughs> Girl, half the bloody viewers have gone and come back. Uh, been fantastic vlog. Right, okay, so I'm just going to stay on for the next few minutes because there are some of you who want to see the dryer. So I will do this little bit of the dryer and then I'm going to finish the vlog.
gonna move you guys here for a second. I need to clean the filter. I need to clean the filter. I need to put my dryer balls back in because I wasn't using them for the last thing I was drying. There's one somewhere, but I'll dig it up. Right. Whoa! There we go. That does say three hours and 12 minutes, but it never actually stays there. There we go. Um, it always drops down. You're doing towels separate? Yes, I am, yeah. These will dry pretty quick. They'll definitely want to do the three hours, 29. They'll be dry in about an hour and 20 minutes. And I'm going to hang up the shirts and then that's it. Right, now, while we do this, I'm gonna check your comments. Uh, you found your hand recordless? Uh, yes, there'll be a video coming out that this week. Can you do a review tonight, uh, Mark? Uh, no, not tonight, machine or maintenance wash. Uh, you doing towels separate? Yes. Why are you doing the towels separately? Um, because there's more towels than that, so I may as well do that first, and then I can chuck the towels in at the same time, give some more time. I mean, I would have to split the load up into two anyway, so I may as well just do these first. Um, Mark, forgot my dryer stuck. It's been on way too long. Oops. <laughs> 
Okay, right, guys, I'm going to finish this vlog for today. You can try and wash it sometime with an intensive white collar catcher and the white does get a bit grey. Hmm. Right, okay, you guys, I'm going to disappear now. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Bye, Mark. Um, lots of videos coming up now every day this week. There will be a, another video coming up of the Henry when I go and pick him up from rehab. So there will be a video on that coming out at some point this week as well. And I hope you enjoyed everything. It's been an amazing experience just to have you guys here with me so that we can chat and just, just chat. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Have a fantastic time. Take care and I love you all the much. Bye guys.